think, Danny? I made these paper airplanes. Look at it. Ow, Jeffy, you poked me in the eye. Marvin, are you okay? No, he poked me in the eye. You want to see it fly? No. Prepare for takeoff. No way, bro. Why do you start with the pieces from the bottom? Because this is how daddy plays Jenga. I've never lost a game of Jenga. See, not even that paper airplane can make me lose. Ha, <laughs> undefeated. Where my paper airplane go? I don't know, Jeffy. I can't see where it went because you poked me in the eye. Marvin, it was an accident. He was an accident. Marvin. <laughs> Jeffy, stop crying. Marvin, why would you say that to him? Because it's, it's probably true. He was probably an accident. Marvin, cheer him up. <sighs> Jeffy, do you want to watch TV? Yeah. What do you want to watch? <laughs> Elmo. Okay, I'll turn on Elmo. Yay! Breaking news, okay? The entire New England Patriots football team is sick. They have explosive diarrhea and may not be able to play against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers tomorrow. That's not Elmo! Oh my gosh, an entire NFL team is sick? How are they gonna play? They're probably gonna have to forfeit. Who's at the door? Maybe it's Elmo coming to cheer me up. No, it's not, because Elmo's not real. <laughs> Hello? Hey, bro. What, Dak, what are you doing here? Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Okay, ask. No, can I come inside and ask? Wh why can't you just ask? Wait, what happened to your leg? Oh, I broke it in three places, and I didn't get a cast on it, because I'm a man, so it healed sideways. Ouch. Yeah. So, can I come inside? Why can't you ask the question here? Because it hurts to stand. <sighs> come inside. Yeah. Who was at the door, Marvin? Your ex-boyfriend, Dak. <laughs> Here. What a pleasant surprise! Yeah, Dak, what are you doing here? Well, I have to ask you something. Then ask it! You keep saying that! Well, did you see in the news how the Patriots all got sick? Yeah, I saw it. They can't play. Well, the Patriots called me, and they said they want me to play for them. Aw, how wonderful! Yeah, how wonderful. I hope you break a leg, but why are you telling us about this? Well, because the Patriots said they want me to assemble a team of my friends to play football. So that's why I came here to ask you if I could go on a date with your wife. What? No! Why would I let you go on a date with my wife? Because I'm the quarterback for the Patriots. I could, like, get you tickets and stuff. No, you can't go on a date with her. Who are you going to get to play for your team, Dak? Oh, I don't know. I don't really have any friends. I wonder why. Marvin could do it. What? It I can't play football. Yeah, this old geezer can't play football. Well, yeah, I can. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I bet I can play football better than you can, Dak. Okay, old man, then you're on the team. Yay! Marvin's going to be a Patriot! Well, yeah, I'm going to play for the Patriots and have like 300 pound guys trying to kill me. Yeah, but I don't really have any other friends, so I need you to find two other guys we can play football with. What, two other guys? Yeah, four people. That's how many people are on a football team, right? <sighs> I'll look for as many guys as I can. So you want to make out? Oh, Dak, you silly goose. You know I'm married. <laughs> Don't mess up, man. Don't mess up. Don't mess up! You, you know you're supposed to put the pieces on the top once you take one, right? No, that's dumb. Those are dumb rules. Those are the right rules! No, you're just supposed to take the pieces out and put them down anywhere. That's not how you play! Well, that's how I win. You put the pieces back on top, it just gets hard. That's, that's the point of the game! That's the rules! Look, man, if you don't know how to play, that's okay. If you want to forfeit, just tell me. I know how to play! Okay, take your piece then. God. Hey, guys. <laughs> I win, loser! You're not playing by the right rules! Oh yeah, well at least I didn't hire somebody to throw a paper airplane at the tower when it was my turn. I didn't hire anybody to throw a paper airplane! Look, it came out of nowhere! Oh, it came out of nowhere, okay. He tried to cheat. I didn't cheat! Hey man, calm down, it's just a board game, calm down. I mean, I won, but calm down. Gang of champion over here, calm down. I mean, you never beat me, but calm down. Anyway, what'd you want, man? Well, uh, on the on the news, the Patriots are sick and they can't play this weekend. Oh yeah, I heard about that on the news, because your TV upstairs is really loud. Do you have hearing problems? Well, look, anyway, the Patriots said that, you know, if we want to play, we can assemble our own team and we can play for them. What? But, really? Yeah, we can play for them if you want to. Well, oh, okay. I, I mean, they're playing against Tom Brady. Wait, just anybody? What, they're playing Tom Brady? We're going to lose. Yeah, they're playing the Buccaneers, but I mean, that's fine. I'll play. Wait, will you play, Chef B? Yeah, I'll play. Hold on. I'm not doing anything. All right, so you guys are in. You're going you're gonna to play. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna go tell him that we're gonna play. <laughs> so, uh, do you wanna like cuddle? <laughs> no, Dak, you silly goose. All right, Dak, I found two guys. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna go look for like 45 more people. Nah, four's good. No, there's like 50 people on a football team. Nah, I think we're ready. Anyway, we're gonna ride the Patriots' private plane to Boston tomorrow. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh my gosh, Harmon, you're gonna play for the Patriots!
nervous. I know, I'm kind of nervous, but we have to tell Jeffy that we're going because, you know, I'm not going to bring him, so we're going to leave him home alone. Hey, Jeffy, what are you doing? Googling if Elmo's real. Well, look, Jeffy, here's $100. Oh, well, I don't care if Elmo's real because it's Hundo's real. Why are you giving me money, Daddy? Because me and Mommy are going out of town. Oh, where are you going? It's none of your business, Jeffy. Use that money for food. Well, how long are you going to be gone for? A day. Okay, so I could just not eat for a day and pocket a hundred bucks. No, Jeffy, order pizza or something. Or I could not order pizza and just buy Fortnite skins. But look, Jeffy, do whatever you want with the money, but we'll be back in a day. All right, Daddy. Marvin, I can't believe you're a football player. I'm married to an athlete. Yeah, that's cool, baby. Just shut up. Are you nervous? Yeah, you know I hate flying. I'm afraid of flying. Marvin, you don't have to wear all your football gear yet. Yeah, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Because if we crash, the helmet will protect my head. Okay, you keep telling yourself that. Yeah, we're going down. We're going down. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, but look how high up we are, though. Oh, man, we got to be like 32,000 feet in the shut air. Shut up. No, 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 don't tell me that. Just look down. Look how far away the ground is. Shut up. Oh, man, we couldn't get out of this plane if we wanted to. No, please don't tell me that. We're going so fast. <sighs> oh, man, we look like ants. I mean, they look like ants, but we look like birds, you know, because they fly. Shut up. Speaking of birds, there's a bunch flying towards the engine. Sully! Sully! Oh, I hate my life. Marvin, if you get nervous, just stare at the screen ahead of you. You're right. I just watch a movie like Deadpool. What's up, bro? What do you want, dick? My helmet's too small for my head. I'm sorry about that. Look, bro, I think we should go over the game plan because I don't want you messing this up for me. I mean, I'm a pro, but have you even played football? I've played Madden a few times. Dak, he's going to be fine. Yeah, he better because I've never lost a game in my life. You see my jersey? See that number? That's how many games I've lost. Double zero. I've double never lost. Baby, I'm gonna get some out of my suitcase. Okay, Marvin. I need to get my headphones. Hey, Daddy! What, Jeffy, what are you doing here? I snuck on the plane to be with you. Well, what do you mean you snuck on the plane? You're supposed to stay home. I gave you money for pizza. Well, I already spent that money on V-Bucks. Jeffy, that was for pizza. Look, 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 you can't be here. Look, I gotta focus. I got a job to do. But I can help you, Daddy. How can you help? I'll be your ball boy. Well, you're already on the plane. They can't turn around. Okay, just be quiet and don't distract me. All right, Daddy. <sighs> Baby, you're not gonna believe this. Jeffy's stuck on the plane. Oh, I took your wife's seat. You took my wife's seat? Where'd she go? Oh, she's sitting up next to Zach or Jack or whatever the hell his name Dak? is. Why is she sitting next to Dak? I don't know. Bro, play Jenga with me. What, Jenga? On an airplane? Yeah, it'll be fun. What? No, it's gonna fall over. Nah, no, it won't. Come on, let's play. Oh, yeah, okay. I think I want this one. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, good. Almost there. Oh, 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 Hey, you want to play again? What? No, the turbulence is going on. Now, let's play again. I'll get the pieces. Ugh. Hello and welcome to Sunday Afternoon Football. Today, the New England Patriots are going to be taking on Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Let's go down to the field. Okay, it's the opening coin toss. Tom, you're the visiting team, so call it in the air. Heads. It is heads. We want the ball. Okay, we have to do the opening kickoff, so who's going to kick it? I don't have legs. Yeah, me neither. I'll do it, bro. But you're the quarterback. I can do everything. Let me do it. Okay. Okay, I'm kicking off. What kind of kick was that, Dak? Yeah, that sucked, Dak. Bro, I was going for like a sneak onside kick. They weren't expecting it. Oh, are you sure you don't just suck at kicking? No, bro, I'm good at everything. Let's get on defense. Oh, I'm going to get you, Brady. I'm going to get you, Brady. Blue, 42, set, hut. Okay, where are you at, Ronk? Uh, I'm open, I'm open. Uh, oh, damn it. Touchdown, Gronk Spike. Uh. Touchdown, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What the hell was that, Marvin? Yeah, Marvin. Yeah, you left them wide open. Well, it's Gronk Kalki. He's hard to cover. Well, let me cover him next time. I can cover him. Who's going to get the kickoff? Ooh, me, me. I got it, I got it. Nah, give me the shit. Hey, man, I was going to return it. Ooh, look at me go, look at me go. Oh, 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 where am I going, where am I going? Oh, got your ass. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm about to get this touchdown. Look at me, look at me. <laughs> oh, tackled at the one yard line. Shouldn't have been showboating. Ow, ow. Chef Vivi, why didn't you score the touchdown? Come on, you know I like to showboat a little bit. Okay, look, we're on the one yard line. All we have to do is run it in. Nah, bro, I'm gonna throw it. What? Throw it? What? What's wrong with you? It's a little lesson I learned from Super Bowl 49. When you're on the one, you throw it. <sighs> okay, look, someone get open. Okay, I've done this before. Uh, green, 20, Abraham Lincoln, hike. <laughs> Where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, wide open all day. Ugh. What the hell was that, Dak? I got him, I got him. I got him, I got him. Ugh. The Buccaneers intercepted it and ran it back for a touchdown. Oh, uh, did I stop him? Why didn't you tackle him, Marvin? Well, why did Dak throw an interception? I just ate popcorn, bro. No, you did it. Yes, I did. Extra butter. <sighs> Let's get ready for kickoff. It's coming to me. My time to shine. Ugh. Wait, what do I do? Ow! 
Brooklyn guy, are you okay? Mrs. Perkins, my dog ate my homework. Can I turn it in tomorrow? Oh, he's knocked out. Marvin, we need another player. We're already down two touchdowns. We should just forfeit. Hey, Donnie. <laughs> I'm here, Danny. Put me in, coach. No, Jeff, you're not playing football. Look what happened to him. It's too dangerous. Well, we're down by two touchdowns. I can help. No! Come on, bro. We need him. Yeah, we don't have anybody else. Okay, fine. But if you get hurt, don't come crying to me. All right, bro. We're going to run it. I'm going to hand the ball to Jeffy. All right, Jeffy. When you get that ball, act like if you get in the end zone, you don't ever have to eat green beans ever again. Got it. All right. Okay. Uh, Declaration of Independence, 1776. Hike! <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna eat green beans again! You're going away! Touchdown! Touchdown, Patriots! He did it! He did it! You got touchdown, Jeffy! Way to go, Jeffy! Oh, okay, wait. we're still down by a touchdown. So, I need you to do an onside kick. What's that? Well, you did it earlier! Oh, right, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, let's go! <laughs> I got it, I got it! Damn it! Oh, we have to hope for an interception. Yeah. All right, Jeffy, we need an interception. So if you intercept this ball and run it back for a touchdown, I'll take you to Chuck E. Cheese later. Falcons suck, 28 3, hike. Oh, there you are, Gronk. I can't believe it, folks. He's intercepted the football. He intercepted it. Go, Jeffy, go. Go, Jeffy, go. He has to score. There's only three seconds left. Gotta get touch <laughs> Gotta get touch <laughs> yeah. Oh, so close. Tackled at the one. The Buccaneers win. I can't believe it. We lost. Wow. I hate my life. Good game, bro. <sighs> Good game, Brady. Don't tell anyone, but we deflated the footballs. Wait, what? Ugh, I can't believe we lost. Marvin, don't be sad. You thought you were going to lose anyway. But baby, we were so close to winning. Jeffy, why didn't you score the touchdown? Are you kidding me? I put the team on my back. I got an interception and a touchdown. Don't give me shit. Jeffy! No, no, we straight. I'm just going to play with my paper airplane. <sighs> Okay, I'm playing by your rules. I put the piece back on top. You happy? All right, it's your turn. Yes, I'm happy because we're playing by the right rules. Okay, which one do I want? Wow, God! Ah, I win again! Even with your own rules, you suck! What do you want to do tonight? Oh, dude, let's throw rocks at cars! No, Joseph, you idiot. It's dark outside. How would we even see the cars? They have headlights, dude. Well, that's more of a morning activity. But I always sleep in. I'm gonna miss it. Well, you have to get up pretty early in the morning if you want to throw rocks at cars. Oh, fine. So, guys, what do you want to do at night since it's dark? Ooh, 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 ooh. I know, I know. We should watch a scary movie, and then whenever I get scared, you can hold me, and then kiss me, and then caress me, and then just kind of see where it goes from there, man. I think we should just turn on the TV and see if we can find something fun to watch. Okay. Hey there, do you love french fries? Well, a new McDonald's location is opening up, and if you're the first customer in line, you can win free french fries for a year. Whoa! Free french fries for a year? Dude, that's a lot of fries. I'm homeless. It'll feed me for like a whole year. Guys, 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 we should totally go to McDonald's right now to guarantee we're the first people in line. Oh, yeah, dude, let's totally do it. Cody, you coming with us? No. What? Why? Come on, dude. I just don't really like french fries that much. Oh, my God, Cody. Are you literally the lamest person I've ever met? I think so, dude. Are you Dr. Lame? In the flesh. Cody, why don't you want to wait in line with us? Well, it just doesn't seem worth it to wait in line for hours just for french fries. It doesn't seem worth it, Cody. We could make so much money from this. Listen, listen. What are french fries made out of? Uh, potatoes. What are mashed potatoes made out of? Potatoes. What are baked potatoes made out of? <sighs> potatoes. So we can go to McDonald's, get our french fries, right? Our free french fries. And then we can go turn them into baked potatoes and sell them. Wait, you can't bake fried potatoes. Oh, okay, Cody, then fine. We, we'll, we'll go to McDonald's every day and get 100 free orders of french fries. And we'll go around driving around and we'll sell them. What, no one's going to want to buy cold french fries from your car. Well, we'll turn the heater on. Well, they're, they're still going to be stale and gross. No one's going to want them. Cody, we'll literally be a McDonald's on wheels. Well, uh, yeah, a McDonald's that only sells french fries and nothing else. Well, that's the only thing people want is french fries. That's why they're giving them out for a year. Yeah, it's not like they're a burger place or anything. Okay, come on, Cody. At least come stand in line with us. Okay, look, I'll tell you what. I will stand in line with you, but as soon as I get bored, I'm going home. So what are the odds that you, like, stay the whole time? Zero percent. That's not happening. I like that percent. Yeah, the odds are in our favor, dude. All right, guys, let's go to McDonald's! Yeah, let's go! 
guys, I can't believe it. We're first in line at McDonald's. Oh, dude, I can't believe it either. We're actually first. I can't believe it. Really? You can't believe we're the first people to wait in line all night just to get french fries? Cody, stop being a pout pout fish. Yes, yeah, sour coward. What, what the hell are you talking about? Cody, you're being all sad and mopey. Do you not understand we're going to get free french fries for a year? 365 days, dude. Yeah, that's enough fries to fix your eyes. Fries that'll tie your tie. Fries that'll stop your cries. Fries that'll keep you from being shy. Shies? Ah, uh, it was close, dude. Really, guys? Is this what we're gonna do for eight hours? Just make fry rhymes? Okay, we, how about we play I Spy? I Spy with my little eye. He's wearing glasses, he's a dork, he's ugly. Well, okay, you know what? I didn't even want to come here. You're right, it was you! Oh, he's good. Okay, fine. You know what? I have one. I Spy with my little eye. A colossal waste of my time. Your life? What? No, no, don't, don't. Okay, I have another one. I spy two idiots who are wasting their night just to wait for french fries. Oh, that's us, that's us! Oh, he's good! Yeah, that's right, you win! Okay, oh, wait, Joseph, what? stand right here. Well, why, dude? I want to be first. Well, no, 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 I want to be first! No, 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 it was my idea, so I get to be first! No, I was first first! No, 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 I want to be first! No, no, dude, get, 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 spy. get where you belong! Wait, what do you mean by that, dude, huh? Because it was my idea, so you gotta be right there! But no, you white people always think you're better than us! No, huh? no, it's my idea to get french fries! You can't, you don't even want french fries! No, you know what? Screw your fries! I'm out of here! Dude. Well, good. Leave. I don't want you here anyway. Now you. What? Don't you dare try to skip me. I'm not gonna skip you. I don't care. Are you sure? Yes. Don't you try it. I'm not gonna try it. I have the high ground. I don't care. What? <sighs> How much longer do we have to wait? About eight hours. Damn. Yeah, damn. I know. Eight hours? Yeah. I'm starting to get tired. You wanna go home? No! We need to be first in line to get the fries. <sighs> I'm not yawning. I'm just... Oh, my phone's ringing. I don't hear anything. Uh, it's on silent. But then how did you hear it? Uh, hold on, Cody. Chef Pee Pee's calling me. I have to answer it. It might be an emergency. Hello? Chef Pee Pee? Yeah, it's me, Junior. What's wrong? You sound upset. What? 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 Why are you yelling? You need me to go home right now? But but I'm at the McDonald's waiting in line with Cody and... Uh, really? Right now? Okay, let me tell Cody. Jesus, I hope you have Apple Care. Oh, uh, look, Cody, I have to go home right now. But why? Be because Chef Pee needs me to clean the entire kitchen because I spill apple juice everywhere. Junior, if you're leaving, I'm leaving. No, 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 you have to hold our spot in line. Someone might take it. Junior, no one's going to take it. Look around. There's no one for miles. Well, look, there might be a guy in that bush over there, and as soon as we leave our spot, he's going to come take our spot in line, and then he can get all the free french fries. Junior, I'm pretty sure nobody else even knows about this damn french fry deal. Look, Cody, just just take, just hold, just wait right here for five minutes. If I'm not back in five minutes, you can leave. Really? No, 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 I need you to wait the whole time. But look, look, just give me an hour. Two. But an hour or two? Jesus, Junior, did you spill a whole orchard's worth of apple juice? What's an orchard? It's where they grow apples. What? what it's, yeah, that's what... But look, just make it quick, okay? Oh, wait, just wait right here. Do not leave. Don't leave the spot in line. I'll be right back, okay? Just, just wait right here. Don't leave no matter what. Even if someone tries to take a spot, don't leave. Hurry up! Where the hell is he? Oh, come on, Junior, it's been hours. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna call him. Come on, Junior, answer! Hello? Junior! Huh? Wait, to Junior, wait, what are you doing? Wait, Cody? Yes, where are you? Is it French fry time? What? No, it's not French fry time. Wait, then why did you call me? B because I don't know where you are. You were supposed to be back hours ago. Oh, I'm, uh, I, uh, I'm still cleaning the orange juice. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Earlier you said it was apple juice. Huh? When you said you had a mess to clean, you said it was apple juice. Oh, yeah, it's both. Wait, what? Yeah, it was, um, it was... It was apple juice, orange juice, grape juice. It was a whole. It was a bunch of fruit juices. Uh, J Junior. What? What, Cody? What do J you want from me? What? what where? Where? Where are you? I'm. I, uh, I'm. I'm cleaning up the mess. Well, hurry up and come back. Okay, just give me a few minutes to get up from the ground because I've been wiping up the juices so much with napkins. Hold on. Speaking of napkins, Shabby, can you give me more napkins? Damn it, Junior, you, you took all the napkins. You don't know we can't afford napkins. <sighs> Junior, that's the worst Chef Pee Pee impression I've ever heard. What are you talking about, Chef Pee Pee? Listen, Cody, listen. I'm, let me just get up, okay? Uh, why do you keep saying get up? I'm tired from cleaning, and I took a quick, a quick nap on the floor. A nap? I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Do not leave the spot, okay? I'm on my way right now. I'm getting, look, I'm running. Uh, you don't sound like you're running. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I'm, J Junior? Huh? Junior! I'm in the car. Y you're not in the car. Okay, I'm going through a tunnel. I'll there are no tunnels on the way here. J Junior? Junior! J uh, ju ju uh. 
Hey Cody, how you feeling? I think I'm dying. Man, I had the best sleep of my life in my nice warm bed. Yeah, I bet you did. What's wrong with you? I've been standing here for 12 hours, Junior. I'm exhausted. No one tried to skip you, right? No, no one else cares. No one else is even in line. Can you please just take my spot so I can go home? But I really have to go pee. Well, why didn't you just go at your house? Because I didn't have to go then. Look, what? I'm gonna go pee in that bush over there. Well, why can't you just wait for them to open and then you can use their bathroom? When are they gonna open? Uh, any minute now. Look, I'm gonna go pee in the bushes. Just wait right here. You've been waiting all night. You can wait one more second. Uh, just hurry up. Congratulations, boy! You're the first one at McDonald's! Uh, uh, me? N no, no. Actually, my friend Junior over there peeing in the bush, he, he was actually first. Well, you're the only one here, so you get free french fries for a year! But no, J Junior was actually first. Well, get a picture with me, boy. Come here. This boy loves his McDonald's. I, I don't actually like it that much. But Cody, you stole my free french fries for a year? But no, Junior, I tried to tell him that Why, you, you thief? You thief, you stood here just so you could get the french fries. You knew how much this meant to me. But Junior, I don't even want your damn french fries. We're not friends anymore, fatty. But Junior, come on. Well, boy, how does it feel to get all those french fries? But you know what? It actually feels pretty good. I, I want the fries now. God, I hate Cody so much. Some friend. Junior, you're being ridiculous. Cody, go away. I hate you. Why? Because I waited 12 hours in line for you to get your stupid fries? No, because you took my spot so you could be the first customer. I didn't take your spot. You had to use the bathroom. You made me have to use the bathroom. But how? You put some weird voodoo witchcraft spell on my bladder that made me have to go pee at bad times. Wait, Junior, do you even hear yourself? You sound insane. Cody, you took my spot and you took my french fries. Look, I don't even want the fries. Take the stupid card. No, I didn't earn them. But yeah, we all know that. I'm the one who waited 12 hours in line. You take that back. What What are you talking about? That's just a fact. You know I couldn't wait in line. Chef PB needed me to clean the whole house. Okay, I know that's bullshit. What, what did Chef PB tell you I wasn't actually cleaning? But no, he didn't have to. Oh, Cody, listen. I don't want those stupid dump fries because you stole them from me and I want to be able to call you a thief. What, okay, fine. Then I'll just take the one free medium fry a week for myself. What? Oh, you didn't know? You don't get unlimited fries for a year. You only get one free medium fry a week for one year. So it's not all you can eat french fries? Nope. That's gay. Yeah, I know, but that's what you get, and I'm gonna take it. Well, no, no, actually, I, I want the fries. No, 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 you said you didn't want the card, so now I'm gonna take it. But it's only one free medium fry. You might as well just let me have it. No, and it's gonna be the one best free medium fry of my goddamn life. Well, Cody, God, I hate you. Hey there, is this your friend? That's Joseph. Yeah, I caught him throwing rocks at cars. <laughs> Specifically my car, while yelling, take that, you stupid pig, and F12. Joseph! Dude, I told you I was gonna do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him off with a warning this time. I'm in a good mood. Stupid pig. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Did you get your fries, dude? No, Cody stole them from me. What? Yeah, yeah. Me and Cody were waiting in line at McDonald's for the french fries, and Cody was like, I don't want to go home. I don't want to stand here anymore. And I said, Cody, calm down. I'm about to get my french fries. And then out of nowhere, I start hearing, meow, meow. It was a baby kitten in the middle of the road, and there were cars coming. So I said, Cody, wait right here. I'm going to go save this kitten. And I ran, and Cody was like, no, don't save the kitten. Let it die. And I said, I'm not going to let this kitten die. So I go in the middle of the road. I grab the kitten. I dodge a semi-truck. I dodge another truck. <gasps> and I jump, and I toss the kitten into a pile of feathers. And, then, and the kitten survives. And then I get back in line, and Cody had stolen my french fries. They thought he was the first customer. What a conniving little bastard he is. Yeah, Cody. Cody's something friend, huh? huh? Hey guys, check out my free medium fry for the week, and I didn't even have to pay for it. You know, because it's free. You kitten killer! What? What's he talking about? Cody, how's your medium fry? Oh, they're so good. Hold on, let me just get one. Oh, 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 oh yummy fries. Oh, was it worth the life of a kitten, though? Wait, what? I don't understand this kitten thing. Somebody needs to explain that. Just worry about your stupid french fries, Cody. Yeah, why did you only get one, though? Oh, you didn't tell him? Oh, you don't get unlimited fries. You only get one medium fry a week for a year. Wait, you can't get all the fries you want? Nope. Huh, gay. Yeah, that's what Junior said. Yeah, you just don't worry about your stupid fries, Cody. We don't want to be your friend anymore. Okay, fine. I'll eat my fries, and I'll see you guys next week with my next free medium fry. <sighs> I hate Cody so much. Yeah, I do too. Okay, Joseph, what Lego set should we build now? Um, I'm not sure, dude. Hey, guys. Whoa, that's sick. Cody, what Lego set should we build? Uh, this one, the Pod Racer. <laughs> now, this is Pod Racing. <laughs> you remember he says that in the movie? Wait, I'm confused. That's Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. And that's Padme. Uh-huh. And they get married? Yeah. But he's a little kid. Yeah, I know. It's weird. She's a grown woman. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. How does that work? I, I don't know. It's kind of gross. Wait, where's your free fry? I thought it was Friday. Oh, it is. But I decided to give my free fries this week to my hot date. Ken? No. 
No, it's someone else. Get in here. Hey, guys. What, Penelope? I thought you were dating Ken. Oh, I am. But what, I can't take Penelope on a free medium french fry date? Cody's getting me free french fries. Medium french fries. Can I get a drink, too? <laughs> no, I didn't get free medium drinks every week for a year. But what if my mouth gets dry? Well, you can quench your thirst with a free medium french fry. Okay. You're so lame, Cody. Yeah, well, that may be true, but I have free medium french fries for a year. Come on, babe, let's go. <sighs> let's go with this one. Okay, Joseph, what game do you want to play? The Oregon Trail or Cubert? Um, let's see what Oregon's talking about. Hey guys, happy Friday. You're not getting tired of french fries, Cody? Oh no, Junior, how can I possibly get tired of these delicious free medium french fries? You can't hate it when it's free. Can I have one? Sure, just for one dollar per fry. What, one dollar per fry? Why? Well, because I'm selling them, like you said. I'm starting my own potato company or whatever. That only works if you have unlimited french fries. Well, it's kind of like having unlimited, except I only get one medium a week for a year. Year, but that's still a lot of french fries. Well, I'm not gonna buy your stupid french fries, Cody. Why don't you just try to redeem them all at once? I don't think they'd let me do that. Wait, would they let me do that? Wait, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. <sighs> I'll play Cubert. This stupid packaging, Joseph, I can't open it. Yeah, me either, dude. Hey, guys. Did you get all the french fries? No, they told me to read the card, and the card says one free medium order of fries every week up to a year. So I just gotta take it one week at a time. They wouldn't let you get all the fries just right now? Nope, so I'm just gonna have to have one box of medium free fries every week. You're really gonna get it every single week? Yes, I am. Every week, I'm gonna have a box of fries, at least once a week. No, really, I'm really gonna do that. Every single week, I'm gonna have a box of fries with me. And if you don't see me with a box of fries at least once a week, then you can yell and scream in the comments and be mad at us, but I'm gonna do it. I'm really gonna do it. Yeah, we'll see, Cody. AC's broken. It's like 100 degrees in here. Hey, Jeffy. Huh? Can you blow me? I ain't know what? Like with a fan. Oh, you should have just said that, Daddy. Oh, that feels so good. Hey, I want some. Oh, so much better. Jeffy, blow me again. Stop saying that, Daddy. It's weird. Hey, no, come back. Mommy, look, it's hot in here. You should probably just take your clothes off. Well, ew, Jeffy, she's your mother. Stepmother, and I've seen plenty of videos where stepsons eat their stepmom's fish biscuit. Well, Jeffy, that's gross. Get out of here. All right. Marvin, you need to call an AC repair man. But that's going to cost money. But it'll be worth it. Okay, I'll call one and see if he can do it cheap. Hey there, thanks for calling Expensive AC Repair Services. Marvin, you called Expensive AC Repair Services? Well, I tried calling Super Cheap AC Repair Services, but they didn't answer. Yeah, I never answer that phone. What? Anyway, what's the problem? Well, our AC is broken, I think. Oh, that sounds expensive. Yeah, I guess I can get my ladder out and go look at it, but it's gonna cost you. How much? How much you got? Baby, how much do I have in my wallet? Uh... Um, about $94. Oh, that's crazy, because that's exactly how much I charge to get my ladder out and look at your AC unit. Okay, here you go. Ooh, it is hot in here. This cash is cool. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, let me go get my ladder and I'll take a look at it. Okay, time to figure out what's wrong with the AC so I can charge him more money. Okay, let's see what's wrong with this AC. What? Haunted toys do not touch. Okay, not touching that. Let's see here. Oh. Well, the AC's not broken. It just got turned off. All I have to do is turn it on. But then I can't charge them a bunch of money. <laughs> okay, I know. I'll go downstairs and tell them that the whole AC unit is completely destroyed and that it's going to be really expensive to fix, and then I'll come back up here, just play on my phone for like an hour, and then turn it on and tell them I fixed it. <laughs> yeah! Oh, man. It is, it is just a train wreck up there. So it's broken? Oh, broken's not even the right word. I would say destroyed, demolished, pillaged, savaged, desolated even. So it's broken? Yeah, it's broken, yeah. What happened to it? Oh, I can't even imagine what could have caused such destruction. Was your house struck by lightning and a tornado a hundred times? I don't think so. Well, I mean, it is on fire. What, fire? Yeah, and it's flooding at the same time. I don't even know how. It's crazy. Flooding with what? W with shit from the sewer, because I guess your sewer got mixed up, so whenever you flush the Toilet shit comes out of your AC. Oh, oh, well, can I go up there and look? No, 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 don't do that, because it's also spraying asbestos and, and carbon monoxide. It's very dangerous. Well, okay, well, then how are you going up there? I, I had a hazmat suit, but I took it off because it was itchy from all the asbestos. Well, can you fix it? Oh, I can, but it's going to be really expensive. Like how much? Oh, like, like $5,000 cash. 
We don't have $5,000 cash. Well, I guess I could do it for $3,000 cash. I don't think we have $3,000 either. Well, how much cash do you have? Baby, how much cash do we have if you went in your purse and, like, checked the safe in the room? Um, maybe, like, $500? Well, I guess I could do it for $500 cash, as long as it was cash. Wait, how can you go from $5,000 to $500? Well, I just feel so bad, because you're living with a hazard. You know, it's dangerous, so I gotta take care of it. So, yeah, I'll do it for $500, as long as it's cash. Well, baby, get the money. Okay. Yeah, thank you for doing this for us. Here you go. No problem. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is great. Okay, so I'm gonna go work on that. Just don't check on me, okay? It's very, very dangerous. Uh, by the way, do you have a phone charger? What do you need a phone charger for? Uh, my phone's dying, and I really wanted to listen to some tunes while I work. You know, that's what I call Music 86. It's too much trouble to go find new music, so I let them bring the music to me, you know? That's what they call music, that's what I call music. That's what I always say. Okay, I'm gonna go get to work. Just don't come up there, okay? It's too dangerous. Oh, what is that? It's a stairway leading right to the attic. I bet my daddy's hiding my Christmas presents up there. I'm gonna go check it out. Oh, it's snowing up here? The North Pole's in my attic? Santa Claus lives in my attic? Wow, I can't believe I'm in Santa's workshop. <gasps> Haunted toys do not touch. These must be special toys that Santa Claus made that he doesn't want anyone to play with. Well, I'm gonna go play with them. All right, let's check out these haunted toys. Buzz Lightyear, let's see if he can fly. Woody was right, he's not even a flying toy. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, what is this thing? Interesting. Alright. Ooh, an ABC board? It'll help me learn my ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Ooh, and what is this? Looks like a magnifying glass so I can see the letters better. <gasps> and it says yes or no? Maybe I can ask it a question and it'll tell me. Um, ABC board, am I gonna get fat hoes? <gasps> it said yes! Yay, I'm gonna get fat hoes! Thank you, ABC board. You're welcome. Now open your mouth. Open my mouth? Why? Just do it. Okay. Uh... <gasps> Ugh, Marvin, it's so hot up here. Can we go downstairs? But baby, the AC's broken. It's gonna be hot everywhere. But it's hotter upstairs because heat rises. Well, if heat rises, then my wiener has heat. What? It, it rises when I see... Whatever, let's just go downstairs and make some dinner. Okay. All right, baby, for dinner, me and you are gonna have a mashed potato bowl. Ooh, yum! And Jeffy's gonna eat green beans. Jeffy, dinner's ready! What do you want, old man? Marvin, why does Jeffy look like that? Jeffy, did you call yourself green with a Sharpie? No, I've been possessed by a demon. Ha 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 ha! Okay, demon, eat your green beans. How about I just piss? <laughs> Jeffy, stop peeing! What's wrong, old man? You don't like piss? Stop it, Jeffy! Marvin, why? Jeffy in a dress? You're worried about the dress and not the pee! Oh, okay, good. He, he's stopping. <laughs> Just kidding, more pee! Oh my god, Jeffy, stop peeing on the table! You're, you're peeing everywhere! Oh, I'm sorry, am I pissing you off? Jeffy, stop it! Alright, I'm done. Jeffy, just go to your room! Alright. Oh my god, he, he peed all over the table, baby! What, what is wrong with him? It's disgusting! <laughs> Jeffy, you are so grounded! <laughs> He got the one! He threw up everywhere! Marvin, I think he's really sick! We need to call a doctor! The AC guy! He's a doctor! Let's go get him! <laughs> Die, pigs. Hey! 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 What? How did you get up here? Wait, uh, are you playing Angry Birds? Yeah! Yeah! I, 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 just, I just finished fixing your AC. I, I did. I also killed those pigs. You got, you got three stars. Well, thank you. Yeah, I did. I did. But was my AC even broken? Oh yeah, it was super broken. I just fixed it. That's that's why I have this screwdriver here. You see, because it was it was this screw. It was loose, and that that's what caused the whole thing. You know. So one screw being loose caused it to flood and catch on fire. Oh yeah, you'd you'd be surprised what a screw can do. <laughs> it can really screw things up. You get it? That's an AC repairman joke. You probably don't get it. Well, like, you're a doctor, right? Yeah. Oh, look, my son's really sick. Can you come check him out? How much cash you got? I don't got any more cash, but do me a favor. Yeah, I guess you're right. I've screwed you over enough today. <laughs> that was another one. Come on. Okay. Okay, my son's in here. Well, I put my doctor outfit on. I put down towels because of the throw-up. Ew, he's throwing up? Yeah, look at him. <laughs> 
Jesus Christ! Well, why is his head spinning around like that? Well, he's not sick, you guys. He's possessed. But possessed? Yeah, by a demon. Well, so what do we do? Well, you call an exorcist. Wait, isn't he an exorcist? No, 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 he needs an exorcist. See, an exorcist performs an exorcism to exorcise a demon. Okay, so I call an exorcist. Yeah. Okay, uh, do you think there's anyone around here? Hmm, try Googling expensive exorcist. Okay, I'll see if there's a cheap one. Okay, I found a phone number for a place called Cheap Exorcism Services. Oh, I, I wouldn't call them. Shh, it's ringing. Uh, that, that's, that's probably my mom calling. I don't answer her. Well, it's kind of weird that while I'm calling this number, your phone's ringing. I mean, it is a coincidence, but if you think about it, there's 13.5 billion phone calls happening in the world every day, so it's not that much of a coincidence that my phone would be ringing while you're calling somebody. 13.5 billion phone calls? Yeah, it's true. Look it up. It's gonna go to voicemail. Thank you for calling Cheap Exorcism Services. Since we didn't answer our phone, maybe you should try calling Expensive Exorcism Services. They always answer their phone. <sighs> What'd it say? It said to call Expensive Exorcism Services. Yeah, you should do that. Okay, I'm calling them. Oh, hey, my phone's ringing. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Hello, Expensive Exorcism Services. Oh, wait, that's me! And yes, I will do your exorcism for you. How much cash you got? Wait, just go get your outfit! Okay. Okay, I got my outfit on. Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Ah. Ow! No throwing toy arms! <laughs> Ah. No throwing demon arms either! Father, help him! Yeah, help me, daddy. Hold on, I got some holy water over here. I mean, it's just Fiji water, but holy cow, is it good. The power of Christ oh, compels you! Melting. The power of Christ compels you! No, that, that's from Wizard of Oz. Nice try. <laughs> Look, the holy water's not working, but I've seen the movie. I know what to do. Hey, demon, possess me instead! Open your mouth. Okay. Uh, <laughs> possess Buzz Lightyear! Ha! I trapped him in this Buzz Lightyear toy! I am Mrs. Nesbitt. Now, now all I have to do is throw him down the stairs to kill him. Take this, Demon Lightyear, to infinity and hell! I am Buzz Lightyear. Okay, I threw Buzz Lightyear down the stairs. As long as nobody touches him, we'll be fine. Jeffy, are you okay? Oh, my head hurts. Yeah, that's a side effect of being possessed by a demon. I was possessed by a demon? Yeah, but I took care of it. So where's the cash? Give me a thousand dollars. It's not called expensive exorcism services for no reason. We don't have a thousand dollars. Oh yeah? Well, guess what? Your AC wasn't even broken. It was just turned off. All I did was turn it on and then play Angry Birds on my phone. So, eh. What? Jeffy, how are you feeling? Who wants to watch me piss? <sighs> What do you want to do today? Cody, that's my line. Yeah, dude, shut up and know your role. Sorry, I just wanted to say it this time. No, shut up. Okay. <laughs> so, guys, what do you want to do today? Oh, dude, let's play Tyrone versus the cops. What kind of game is that? Oh, bro, it's this sick game where you play as this guy named Tyrone and you have to versus the cops. Hey, yeah, give me back my rights. <laughs> well, let's play it. Can I download it for PlayStation 5? No, 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 dude, it's on PC. Well, I don't have a PC. I'm not sweaty enough. Cody, do you have a PC? Yeah, I have one at home, but my mom limits my screen time and there are parental controls on it, so I can't go on any websites that start with a P or an X. So I have to search Big Wee Wee on Google Images, and sometimes I find a good one. Oh, well, if we don't have a computer, how else can we play it? You can play it on a Steam Deck, dude. We don't have a boat, Joseph. It's not a boat, dude. Look, look, look at the commercials right there. <gasps> oh, that's convenient. <laughs> hey there, I'm TikTok superstar Shane Bastion. Now I bet you're at home playing your Atari or on your computer and you can't leave the house, but not me. I can game on the go because I've got a Steam Deck. I'm playing Tyrone versus the cops and I can play it anywhere. What other console can you play on the go? Other than that one console I can't legally say the name of, but get yourself a Steam Deck, only 650. 50 smackaroons! <laughs> Whoa! I want that! Oh. No, no, Junior, stop eating my hair. Joseph, get him off! Dude, you know he does that when he wants something. I know, but we can't afford it. Pinch his ear, it's the only way. Come on, Junior. Ow, ow, okay, okay, damn! I want that! But Junior, that's 650 smackaroons! That's way too many smackaroons! Where are we gonna get that many smackaroons? I don't have any smackaroons. Do you have any, Joseph? I'm broke as a joke, bro. Well, Cody, do you have any smackaroons we can borrow? Let me see. I only have 140 smackaroons. Whoa, Cody, where'd you get so many smackaroons? Well, I work at my aunt's bakery selling macaroons for smackaroons. She gives me five smackaroons for every dozen macaroons. Oh, well, we only need 500 more smackaroons. Oh, well, that was close. You were 10 off. But still, Junior, where are we going to get all those smackaroons? Oh, I got an idea. We can have a yard sale today. It's nighttime. Yeah, we can have a nighttime yard sale. No one's ever heard of it, and that's why we'll make so much money. So look, go to your house and grab all the stuff you're willing to sell. Okay. 
All right, Joseph, you go to your house too. I live in a dumpster. Go to your dumpster and grab stuff you want to sell. Okay, dude. All right, yeah, we're gonna have a, a, a wait. You left Ken. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was about to sell him. Okay, Junior, I'm back with my stuff. Yeah, me too, dude. Ooh, show me what you have. Wait, Junior, where's your stuff? Oh, I looked at my toys and I decided I don't want to get rid of any of my stuff. Oh, so you want us to get rid of our stuff? Yeah, what do you have? Well, I have this copy of Over the Hedge on DVD, Holographic Collector's Edition, fuck with your boy. And I got this Sticky Hulk. <laughs> He's not very sticky anymore, but <laughs> give me 20 minutes, I'll make him sticky. And I got this jumbo sticky hand from Dave and Buster's, still in the packaging. I could get at least 100 tickets for that bad boy. And check it out, I have this original classic Kodak camera. It even still has two pictures left on it. Uh, okay, well, maybe it's more like one picture now. Well, might as well take a selfie with it while I have it. <laughs> okay, guys, say cheese. 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 Ah, oh, shit, I think I blinked. Well, I guess we'll find out in one to two business days. Dude, let me show you what I got. I got this sick Naruto book. Man, Sasuke went nuts in this shit. Oh, and a whole bunch of football cards. But my favorite one is this autographed Deshaun Watson card. It came with a free massage, but I never cashed in on it. It doesn't look autographed. Oh, it's sticky. That's how he signs it. Oh. Yeah, my grandma gave me this crucifix too. But uh, my life's so shitty, dude. There can't be a god. There's no way. What, Joseph, why would you throw that? Dude, I don't need it. My life sucks. But what if you get cursed or some shit? It's not real. It's not gonna happen, dude. What? There's someone at the door. Maybe it's pizza. Why would you think it's pizza? Well, why else would the door ring at night? Come on, Cody. It might be a lot of pizzas. Okay. Hello? Ah! Junior, why are there nuns at your door? I don't know. What do you guys want? They're not guys, Junior. They're women. Really? Those are some ugly girls. What do you ladies want? Oh, I think they're mad that we threw the cross. Well, we didn't throw the cross. That was Joseph. Um, Junior, I think she wants you to take it. Oh, no, we don't want it. You can have it. Uh, Junior, take the cross. Just take the cross. Oh, yeah, I, I actually did want it. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, thanks. Uh... Dude, was there pizza at the door? No, there was none. <laughs> Junior, <laughs> that's so fucking funny. That's a hoot. That's a hoot and a half. Oh my god, Judy, the real knee slapper. That was a regular goof of palooza. I'm gonna write that one down. I, I don't get what's funny, dude. Oh, you asked if there was pizza at the door, and there was none. <laughs> but because there was no pizza, but there were nuns at the door. Uh, wh why were there nuns at the door? Oh, they wanted to bring back your Jesus. What? I told you I don't need that stupid thing. Ugh! Why would you do that? Because I don't need it. Not you, Joseph. I was talking to Logan. Why would you reuse the footage of the cross going out the window, you lazy sack of shit? Just throw it again. What, do you think I wouldn't notice? And you, Joseph, why did you throw the cross again? Because I don't want it, dude. But Joseph, those nuns at the door, one of them has a shotgun. They might kill us. Oh, damn. Yeah, they were really mad. But they're not going to come back, right? <laughs> Oh, that must be pizza. No, Junior, it's the nuns again. Well, let me check my doorbell camera. Can you grab my phone? Yeah, sure. Let me see. Uh-oh, Cody, it's them again. I told you, Junior. Uh, do, do we go answer it? No, of course not. That other one has a gun. Yeah, yeah, we, we probably shouldn't answer it. Let's just ignore it. Well, guys, we're just going to ignore them. No one answer the door. Good idea, Junior. Oh, wait, why don't we call the cops? Even better idea. Can I use your phone so we can keep looking at the cameras? Yeah, hold on, let me get it. Okay, Junior, it's already ringing. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, yeah, we have a problem. Well, yeah, you called 911, so I assumed you did. So there's two nuns at my front door. Nuns? Yeah, like the old ladies. Uh-huh. And one has a shotgun. Oh, yeah, I could see how that would be a problem. Okay, well, obviously don't answer the door. Yeah, we answered it earlier. I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, so can you come here? Uh, okay, yeah, I'm on my way, but what are they doing right now? Cody, what are they doing? Uh, hold on, let me see. Oh, no, Junior, they're doing emotes. And what's that? Oh, no, that one's hitting the gritty hard as fuck. Oh, my God, they're doing Fort Fortnite emotes. Oh, no, those are very dangerous nuns. J just stay inside and don't answer the door. Okay, please come. Okay. What are they doing now, Cody? Uh, let me see. Oh no, Junior! One of them's doing the Macarena, and the other one's riding her gun like a pony! Oh no! What do we do? There's nothing we can do, Junior. We just have to wait for the cops. Or Joseph can take his Jesus statue back, because that's all they want. I don't want it, dude! It could save our lives, Joseph! Oh no! Junior, look! Now she's mining for materials! She's about to crack 90s, Junior! And look! She has the pig squeak axe! And she has the rocket backpack! I don't even have that one yet! Oh no! If she gets 999 of all materials, she can build up to my window and kill us that way! Oh no, Junior, look! That one's eating popcorn, and the other one's trying to solve a Rubik's Cube and clearly doesn't know what the hell she's doing! Oh, where's the cops? Please, cops, hurry up! Oh no, Junior, look, they're playing patty cake! Freeze, you nuns! Oh good, the cops yeah, are right. here. Put your hands up! Yeah, yeah, now drop that gun! Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, you drop it. Ow! Oh no! Oh no, don't shoot him, don't shoot him! 
Oh, she shot him! And the other one has the cop's gun now. Oh, God, now she's teabagging the cop. The cop's dead? Now no one's gonna help us. Joseph, just grab that cross. Nope. For God's sake, Joseph, go get your cross. Yeah. -uh. Come on, Joseph, grab it. Yeah. -uh. You're acting like a child, Joseph. Nope, 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 nope. Joseph, grab it right now. No! We're gonna die. So! So? What do you mean, so? Well, well, hold on. Maybe the cop's not dead. He got shot in the face with a shotgun, Junior. Well, maybe they missed and he's just faking his death. Let's, let's, let's see. Wait, Junior, I only see one nun. Where's the other one? Oh, dear God, Junior. Yeah, I think he's dead. Well, I was hoping he was still alive. Well, now you got your answer. Oh, well, look, there's nothing to worry about. They're outside. We're in here. As long as we have this camera view of them, we can just keep watching them. But, oh, no, Junior. What are they doing now? Oh, they're loading their guns. What? Uh, oh, no, Junior. They shot the camera. We lost our feed. Uh, well, uh, well, as long as they stay outside, we're good. Oh no, Junior, they broke in through the front door! Run and hide! Ah! Wait, 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 wait. Maybe we should actually go run and hide instead of running in circles. Yeah, that's a good idea. Ah! Run, kitty, kitty, run! Okay, guys, we're gonna hide in my closet. Good idea, dude. Shouldn't we close the doors? No, Cody, we might run out of oxygen. Duh. The doors aren't airtight. Look, I'm claustrophobic, Cody. I don't want to close the doors. Look, we gotta think of a plan. How about we fight back like the people did on United 93? They all died. But they still fought back and died with honor. Yeah, they died fighting, dude. Yeah, would you rather get shot or at least grab the gun before you get shot? It doesn't seem like it makes much difference. We're gonna fight back. How about you guys distract the nuns and I go outside and grab the cop's reboot card? Junior, this is real life. People don't drop reboot cards. Well, maybe he did. So look, you guys distract the nuns. I'm gonna go outside and grab the card. I feel like you're just trying to leave us here. No, I wouldn't leave my two best buds to get killed and me get away safely. Ooh, guys, what is that? Is that a Nerf gun? But yeah. Grab it and give it to Joseph. But it's a Nerf gun. They have real guns. But dude, I got a nice shot. Yeah, he, he, he can shoot back. And, oh wait, Cody, is that your violin case? What? Yeah, how the hell did that get here? I grabbed it and, and hit it because you suck at playing the violin. I'm good at playing the violin. Oh, so look, you pull out the violin and you play your horrible music. Their ears are going to bleed. And then, Joseph, you shoot them and I run outside and grab the reboot card, okay? I mean, why don't we just stay in here, dude? They'll never find us. I think they found us. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, they're looking for us. Oh, I hope they don't find us. Oh, I really hope. Oh, we really should have closed the closet doors. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we should have done that. Yeah. Oh, everyone, be quiet. Everyone, don't move. If you don't move, they can't see you. Junior, they're nuns, not T-Rexes. <gasps> they're leaving. What? Oh. Guys, guys, I can't believe that actually worked. It worked. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I was loud. I was loud. Was I being loud? Yeah, I was loud. How loud was I being? a little bit just like it was close yeah i'm sorry guys it's my bad it, you guys can shoot me first if that, if that makes it better oh, oh don't do that okay guys yeah, guys before you shoot cody uh he knows how to play the violin yeah he's good and and, and and you know how the people in the titanic they played a song while they died yeah yeah so cody would like to play a goodbye song on his violin uh, okay yeah can, can you do that Okay. Oh, get the violin. Okay, okay. Yeah, song, okay. Cody. Hurry up. Yeah, get the violin. Okay, I got the violin. Oh, you you guys are pulling up chairs. Oh, and you got popcorn. That's, yeah. Oh, man. Now that you guys are here, I'm getting kind of nervous. Cody, you better play your ass off. Yeah, knock my sauce off, dude. Okay, uh, I'm going to play My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion from Titanic. Oh, you, you like that. Okay, good. Uh, here, we, here we go. <laughs> it's working. The, the, the Come on, Joseph, let's run! Run! Uh, uh, he stopped us. Oh, yeah, he, stopped. Uh, he stopped us. She's good. Yeah, she wouldn't let us leave. Oh, nope, okay. Well, I, I don't blame him for that. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. They're, they're, they're mad. Yeah. Pieces. Uh, it's been nice knowing you. Okay, whatever you want us to do, we'll do it. Just please, just let us live. I told you I don't want that! Uh, you know what? This is my favorite thing ever. I'm, I'm gonna cherish this forever. What? That's it? What? You guys killed a cop just for that? They just really want you to have that, Joseph. Jesus, that was that was crazy. What the hell? Don't even let go of that. Just keep it in your hands yeah, at all times. I, I will, I will. So, Joseph, you said your grandma gave that to you? Yeah, dude, but I didn't think she was going to be on my ass about it. My phone's ringing. God, it's her. Hello? Joseph, what the shit? Why are my sisters from church, Glorisa and Betty Mae, telling me that you threw that cross I gave you out the damn window? Because I don't need it, Grandma. Bullshit! You saw they were packing heat! Yeah, I saw that. Look, look, I, I would never throw it out of the window again. I'm sorry. Good, you better not. Now give Grandma some sugar. <sighs> I love you. I love you too, Grandma. God. Well, Joseph, you better hang that up so no demons come after us. Or nuns. Yeah, we don't want to get none down. <laughs> What do you want to do today? 
I don't know. Guys, 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 guess what I got? What? The first copy of Grand Theft Auto 6! No, you don't. Then how's it in my hand, huh, huh? It's probably fake. No, it's not, dude, it's legit! Where'd you get it from, Joseph? I got a friend whose friends whose friend's dad works at Rockstar! No, he doesn't. Yes, he does, dude, I'm telling you, this is the first copy right here. Let me see. Guys, this is clearly just Call of Duty, and they scribbled over the name and wrote GTA 6 on the bottom in Sharpie. Dude, they had to disguise it. I have the first copy. They didn't want anybody else to know. Nah. Well, guys, we gotta play it. Yeah, it's in VR, dude. We have to play it. Nah, get this fake crap out of here. Well, where are you going, Cody? Wow, he's being really lame today. Yeah, he's such a loser, dude. Well, you said it's VR? It is VR, dude. Real graphics. Oh, okay, Jeffy, let's play it. Uh, Jeffy, you play it first, okay? Okay. I'm gonna put it in the system, dude. Okay, put it in the system. All right, Jeffy, put this headset on. <laughs> is it on right? Yeah, just put it on you. All right, dude, the game is in the system. How's the graphics? It looks like real life. <gasps> it looks like real life? Oh, man, this is so unreal. Oh, okay, so what do you see, Jeffy? I see you guys. Guys. They put us in the game? I'm a celebrity! They put us in the game! And I see the living room too. They put my living room in the game, Joseph? Ooh, that's crazy! Oh, uh, Jeffy, run around and beat people up and steal cars. Yeah! I can do that? Yeah, it's just a video game. You're not gonna get in trouble for it. Okay. Where are you going, Jeffy? Wait, dude, where's Jeffy going? Wieners in my mouth! Wieners in my mouth! I'm about to have wieners in my mouth! No homo! No homo! No homo! No homo! No homo! A little homo. <laughs> Wait, Jeffy, what are you doing in my kitchen? I'm playing Grand Theft Auto 6. <gasps> Wait, it came out? No way! Yeah, and it's on VR. Oh my god, that is crazy. How's the graphics? Oh, it's really realistic. You're even in the game. <gasps> I'm in the game? Nobody told me this. That's crazy. Oh man, can you beat up people? Oh, uh, let me see. <laughs> Wow, this map is huge. I'm gonna go explore. Wow, check out these graphics. Oh, check out that car. I'm gonna see if I can steal it. Hey, get out of the road, shithead. Roads are for cars, dipshit. Hey, what are you doing? Ugh. Hey, get out of my car. Get back here, he's stealing my car. Oh my God, I can't believe I just stole this car. This game is awesome. I'm gonna turn around and run that guy over. Hello, police? This guy just stole my car! Ha <laughs> I'm gonna squash you like a bug! And he's gonna hit me! Yay! 500 points! I just turned him into roadkill! I'm gonna see if I can find another one. Wee ha! Tyler, don't play in the road. Don't tell me what to do, Mom! And look out for cars. Look out for these nuts! Ha <laughs> ha! Watch your tone, Tyler. Shut up, bitch! Oh, look at this kid! He's about to get creamed! Rings. This game is so fun! Okay, Simmons, two aces. All right, go fish. What, Simmons, we're playing poker. Well, then draw four. That's Uno. Do you not know how to play poker? Poker? I hardly know her. Hold on, Simmons, all the units, radio. All units, all units be on the lookout for a stolen red Lamborghini using a hit and run. You hear that, Simmons? A stolen car. We should keep an eye out. Hmm, I don't see it. Maybe we should go back to our card game. Oh, there it is, mate! Hmm, I don't know, Simmons. It is red. I don't think that's the car, but I think we should follow it just in case. All right, mate, sounds good. I'm gonna take this thing to the paint shop and get it painted Barney Purple. Oh, the police are behind me? Oh, this should be fun. I'm gonna pull over. Okay, Simmons, we pulled him over, but I don't think it's the criminal, because if it was, he wouldn't have just pulled over in a stolen car. He would have run. Should we invite him to play poker? Not yet. Let's make sure it's not the criminal first. So I'm going to go talk to him. You stay here and Google the rules to poker. All right. Oh, do I have a surprise for them? I'm going to do the grenade launcher cheat code. Squared, circle, triangle, up, down, left, right, square, right, bumper, left, bumper. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. Is this car stolen? Holy shit, that's a grenade launcher! Simmons, Simmons! I think I finally learned how to play poker, mate. He has a grenade launcher! Will that be the full house? Say hello to my little friend. Holy shit! Oh, I guess it's just a Nerf toy. Can't do any damage. Holy shit! Simmons! No! He never learned how to play poker! I'm gonna kill you, you bastard! Ha ha ha! How are you gonna beat a tank? Is that a tank? Where'd he get a tank? From your mom's house! Take this! Oh my god! Ah! Dispatch! Dispatch! I'm currently hiding behind a pole! This psycho has a goddamn tank! He's blowing up cars and shit! Ha 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 ha! This is the best game ever! Now die, coppers! Jesus Christ! He's shooting at me with a minigun! This is a goddamn nightmare! Oh man, I ran out of bullets! 
I'm gonna do the more ammunition cheat code. You're under arrest! Get on the ground! Don't hit me! God, stop it! You're under arrest! Okay, you have the right to remain silent. You know what? Screw it! Come on, you're going to jail! Order, 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 order. Order. Jeffrey, you are being accused of going on quite a crime spree. I have the charges written here on my hand. That's it. Uh, grand theft auto, attempted vehicular homicide, assault, assaulting a police officer, assaulting a police vehicle, using a grenade launcher, using a grenade launcher to destroy said police vehicle, and driving a tank. Did I miss anything? I'm suing. And a lawsuit. Jeffy, how do you explain your criminal behavior on the town? Wow, this game is really realistic. Oh, I see. You think life is just one big video game. Well, I've said it before. I think video games are corrupting the minds of our children. We will now speak to your victims to see if you have any remorse for your behavior. He stole my Lamborghini and hit me with it, Your Honor. He broke my neck and my wiener doesn't work anymore. What girl's gonna want to date someone whose wiener doesn't work and whose neck is broken? I'd like to advocate for the electric chair, Your Honor. <laughs> He ran over my little boy Tyler, your honor. He did it on purpose. I want to see him locked away for a really long time. <laughs> well, your honor, he shot at me and then he blew up my squad car with a grenade launcher with my partner still inside. So, you know, barbecue chicken. I have to tell his family about that. And then he had a tank. I don't even know where the hell that came from. Well, if you break into the military base, you can steal the tank. Did, did you just hear that, Your Honor? He just admitted to breaking into a military base. I mean, that has to be like the highest crime. I mean, that's federal. It might even be a war crime for all I know. I mean, ow! And he just hit me again. Your Honor, he hit me. Did you see that? Yes, I did see that. And another assault charge. Jeffy, now that we have heard from all of your victims, do you feel any remorse whatsoever for your five-star wanted level crime spree? I'm just trying to see if there's any cheat codes to lower my wanted level. Well, Jeffy, you're going to quickly learn that there are no cheat codes to life. There is no up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, be a start in real life, because real life has real consequences. So, what punishment should I give for all of those crimes? I, I mean, guilty, by the way, obviously. Let's see. Oh, the tank. Oh, the tank. I'm thinking life? Hmm? C can I give him life? How does that sound? Did, did anybody die? Barbecue chicken. Did, did he die? Is he okay? I do think he perished in the car explosion, but I, I don't think that's canon. I think that might just be for this video, because, like, usually when people die in videos, they, they do return, uh, unless it's, like, a really big deal, like like Jeffy's mom in the SML movie for his 18th birthday. And even that's, like, kind of iffy. Like, she, she might come back. I mean... We all used to be turtles, so, I mean, anything goes, really. I mean, Joseph used to be rich. I mean, what happened to that? We, I mean, we knocked that off after the backlash, you know? So, I mean, it's up to you, man. So he did die in this video, so I can sentence him to life. Or one million, billion, dillion, jillion, gillion, gazillion years. Whichever comes first. <gasps> but... I believe in the world of second chances. So, if you can beat me in a game of I Spy, I will let you go. I spy with my little eye something. Guilty! You! Ha 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 ha! Alright, come on, you. Get on my imaginary horse. All right, get in there, you. That was a fun horse ride, but that's the last one you're ever gonna have, because you're gonna rot in jail. Jeffy, we heard about all the terrible stuff you've been doing. You were such a good boy. How could you do those things? Yeah, what's wrong with you, Jeffy? Well, I was just playing my new Grand Theft Auto 6 game on VR. It makes it really realistic. Jeffy, this is not a video game. This is real life. You hurt real people. Well, Daddy, I know it feels like real life because of the VR headset, but right now I'm on the stuck-in-jail mission, and it's really hard, so I think I'm gonna have to use cheat codes to get out of this jail cell. There's no cheat codes to get out, Jeffy. Yes, there is, Daddy. I'm going to use the break out of jail cheat code right now. Left, down, right, up, left, bumper, right, bumper, left, stick, right, stick. What? It worked? I told you it would work, Daddy. But we got to get out of here because I think my wanted level is back up. What? Oh, I forgot to lock the stupid jail cell. Hopefully he didn't break out. What? 
Oh man! Wow, Danny, that mission was really hard. I'm done playing this game for a while. Chevy, you're not playing a video game. This is real life. You really just escaped jail. I know, Danny. The graphics are really realistic. No, Chevy, you're a wanted criminal. Freeze! Thought you could just break out of jail and then come back home, huh? What a rookie mistake. Well, back to jail you go. No, no, officer. Is there any way I can just talk to you for a second? I'm listening. All right, listen. Jeffy did not know he was committing those crimes. He thinks he's playing a video game. That doesn't really seem like a good enough excuse for killing my partner, shooting at me with a tank, and running over a kid with a stolen car. I don't care what kind of schizophrenic episode he had. So there's nothing I can do? No, there's nothing you can do. Is that Grand Theft Auto 6? Yeah. How did you get it? It's not even out yet. Well, my friend's friend's dad's dad works at Rockstar. No, he doesn't. Get out of here, Cody. Oh, man, I would do anything just to play it. Wait, I got an idea. What if we give you Grand Theft Auto 6 and you let Jeffy go? Hmm. Well, the judge already thinks Jeffy's in jail, and I'm the only prison guard, so I guess Jeffy could just disappear. Yeah, you know what? You have a deal. All right, Jeffy. You got lucky this time. Did you learn your lesson? I don't even know what I did wrong. I was just playing a video game. Okay, yeah. See, this is obviously just Call of Duty, and then somebody wrote GTA 6 on the bottom in Sharpie. Well, we already made the deal. No backsies! Damn it! Oh, you guys got me with the no backsies. Okay. You guys win this time. You little rascals. you supposed to go out the... Joseph, what do you want to do today? Uh, I don't know, dude. What do you want to do? Chef Peepy gave me $20. Whoa, $20? Wait, why did he give you $20? Well, he didn't give it to me. I found it in his wallet, but he put his wallet somewhere where I could find it, so he basically gave it to me. Oh, that makes sense. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Cody. Chef Peepy gave me $20. Oh, that's cool. But do you know what's cooler? If he would have gave me $40? Well, yeah, I guess. But me, me, I'm cooler. Wait, you're not cool, Cody. You're lame. <laughs> you're a loser. No, no, guys, I'm about to be famous. What, famous? Did you become the mayor of Dorksville? <laughs> no, Junior, I'm about to be the world's biggest celebrity. What, you? What are you going to be the world's biggest celebrity for? Having the most pimples on your face? <laughs> Pimple face? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Why don't you turn on the 10 o'clock news and find out? Okay, turn on the 10 o'clock news. Breaking news, okay? Local boy sets world record for most backflips done in one minute. He did a whopping 300 backflips. Whoa! Cody, I didn't know you set a world record. Dude, I didn't know you could do backflips. No, 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 I, I can't. I, I can't do any flips. No, no, that's not about me. But mine's coming up. Just keep watching. Oh, okay. In other news, another local boy saved eight kittens from a house fire. Whoa! Cody, you saved eight kittens? Dude, you're so heroic. Yeah. No, 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 that one's not about me either. But d don't worry. Just keep watching. It's coming up. In other, other news, another local boy does open heart surgery while blindfolded. Oh my god! No, no, not me. Not me. I'm coming up though. Hold on. Uh oh. In other, other, other news, NASA has selected a local boy to be the first kid on the moon. Oh my god, NASA? Nope, 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 nope. That's not me either. I, I know, there's a lot of really cool local boys, apparently. But don't worry, my story's the coolest and it's coming out. Okay. In other, 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 other news, a local boy wins the National Spelling Bee. Nope, not me either. But I'm coming up, though. <sighs> and now to the weather. A tornado picked up a house. Luckily, a local boy jumps out of the house and survives the fall. You survived? No. Nope. nope. <sighs> Yeah, no, no, it's not me, but uh, look, 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 mine's coming up, and I promise it's going to be the best one. It better be. And for the last story of the day, a small fender bender in a Walmart parking lot was witnessed by a local boy. We have an exclusive interview with him now. Let's go to that. Hey, kid, did you hear about the car accident? What? There was a car accident? Oh, I was just eating my ice cream, and I heard a bang, so I guess that's what that was. Whoa! Dude, you're on TV. You're famous. Guys, come on. I know. Oh, Cody, Cody, Cody. How's it feel to be on TV? That's pretty cool. Dude, how much did they pay you? Yeah. Oh, they didn't pay me. I did that for free. You did that amazing acting performance for free? No, I wasn't acting. That was a true story. Well, how long did it take you to memorize your script? Oh, there was no script. I just made that up right on the spot. What, that was improv? Yep, right off the dome. Oh, Cody, you're so talented. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't like to toot my own horn, but... <laughs> 
Toot toot. Oh god, Joseph, it's so cool. We're friends with a famous person on TV. Dude, we're basically famous too. Well, I don't know if I'd say that. I mean, you know a famous person, but you're not famous. You're basically like Steve Harvey. Yeah, but why? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm exactly like Steve Harvey. Well, yeah, y'all are both on TV. Yep, yep. Those are the things we have in common. Oh, that's so cool, Cody. What's it feel like to be famous? Oh, you know, I'm starting to get a big head. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I just lost it. Oh, you know what we should do? We should get Chef Pee Pee to make your favorite meal since you're famous. Oh, you guys don't have to do that, but I mean, I guess I'm famous, so we might as well. Okay, yeah, Chef Pee Pee would love to cook for a celebrity. Let's go! <laughs> hey, Chef Pee Pee, can you make us something to eat? No, Junior! I'm already cooking dinner and I'm not changing what I'm making. <sighs> sorry, Cody. Chef Pee Pee won't change what he's making. Wait, did you say Cody? The guy from the news? That Cody? <laughs> yeah, that's me. Oh my god! Yeah, guilty as charged. Oh, okay. Oh my god. I gotta get an autograph. Please, can you give me your autograph? For you, Chef Pee Pee. Of course. Well, oh my god, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, you had a pen on you? Of course, Junior. I'm famous. I have to carry a pen now. Oh, one more thing. I have to ask for one more favor. Could you say the line, please? Oh. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, that old thing. Come on, come on, for me, please. It's like music to my ears. Oh, let's see if I can even remember it. <clears throat> How'd it go? There was a car accident. <gasps> oh, I was just eating my ice cream. I heard a bang, so I guess that's what that was. Oh my god, he said the line! He said the line! Oh my god, he did it! Thank you so much! Calm down, calm down. <laughs> All right, Jenny, we should probably go since he won't cook anything else. Wait, wait, I'll cook whatever you want, Cody. You just name it. What do you want to eat? Are you sure? I wouldn't want to bother you. Oh, you're not bothering me. Anything for you, your famousness. <laughs> oh, you don't have to call me that. But, I mean, you can call me that if you want to. So, uh, so what do you want to eat? I think I'll just have a grilled cheese. Oh, oh. He's like a normal person, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah, fame hasn't gotten to me that much. I would like a filet mignon on top of that, too. And some caviar, please, thank you. Ugh, Junior, that meal was delicious. I can't believe you made Chef Pee Pee feed you. Well, of course, Junior. I can't let anything happen to my ice cream holders. <laughs> That's what I call my hands now. Ice cream holders? You know, because I got famous from holding an ice cream and saying my famous line? Yeah, I know. So what do you want to go do now, Cody? Well, Junior, there's not much we can do. Not without thousands of adoring fans swarming us and wanting my picture and autograph and stuff. You know, sometimes I just want to live a normal life. Uh, hey, Cody, can I get a selfie real quick? Yeah, sure, bro. Oh, uh, thanks so much. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Like I was saying, sometimes I just want Oh, man. Uh, can I get another one? It's a little blurry. <laughs> God, I am not taking another picture. I'm not just like your statue that you can just walk up and take pictures of all day. Oh man, I'm sorry. I'm just kidding, of course I'll take another picture. R really? Yeah, I'll do these things all day. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> yeah, don't mention it. Anyway, like I was saying, you know, sometimes I just want a normal life. Oh, oh, one more thing, one last favor. Uh, Can I get a video of you saying like happy birthday or something to my friend Tanner? It's his birthday. <sighs> How old is Tanner? Oh, uh, he's seven. Is he even old enough to watch the news? Uh, I'm not sure, I think so. <sighs> okay, I'll do. Wait. Uh, all right, I'm recording. It's Tanner's birthday. Oh, I was just eating my ice cream cone and I heard somebody singing happy birthday, so I guess that's what that was. Oh my god! He said the line, he said the line! Off the door! You, you mixed it up to make it look like it was Tanner's birthday, but like your famous line! Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm famous. Oh, you're so cool, Cody, and talented. Yeah. So, so what's the next big movie you're gonna be in? I don't know. I guess I'll just have to wait for the next car accident so I can witness it. Wait, my phone's ringing. Jello? Hey there, is this that kid from the news? Well, as a matter of fact, it is. How would you like to have a movie made about your life? What, really? What, wow, that'd be amazing. I, I mean, it seems like kind of a short movie, but yeah, let's do it. Well, we all thought it was really impressive how you rescued all those kittens from that house. Uh, oh, that that wasn't me. That that was actually another kid that was on the news. Oh, well, we still thought it was really cool that you jumped out of that tornado like that. That would make a good movie. Well, well, it, it would. Yeah, you're right, but that, that wasn't me either. I, I didn't do that. Oh, which kid were you? I, I, I was I was the one with the car accident. You know, I heard it. I had ice cream. Oh, you were pretty good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been told. <laughs> so I've been told. Well, how would you like to be a famous movie star? What? what? <laughs> I, I did, yes, yes, please, dear God. All right. Well, I'll be right over to your house in a few minutes to help you sign some papers. <laughs> All right. Sounds good, babe. Well, that was a famous. Oh, sorry, Cody. I was in the bathroom. What's going on? That was a famous Hollywood talent agent, and he wants to represent me. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, he's coming over to sign some papers. I, I, I don't know why he's coming over to your house, but come on, let's answer the door. What? 
Hello? Hey there, it's me, famous Hollywood talent agent Steve Staleberger. What, the Steve Staleberger? Who's Steve Staleberger? Junior, you don't know who Steve Staleberger is? What, no. Well, do you know Will Smith? Yeah. Well, he almost was his talent agent. Wait, really? Yeah, almost. Couldn't, couldn't quite get him, though. Well, what movies have you made? Oh, well, you know Toy Story? Yeah. Well, that is a movie that he had nothing to do with, but it's a really good movie. It is? Yeah. So, so what movies have you helped make? Um... Look, kid, I'm gonna make you a star. We're gonna put your name in lights. I've already got ten movies lined up for you. All you have to do is come with me. The private jet is already fueled up. W really? Right now? Wait, wait, you're gonna go to Hollywood right now? Yeah, Junior. When an opportunity like this comes, you have to take it. Well, well, are you gonna forgive on me when you're famous? Of course I'll remember you, Jerry. Come on, Steve. Well, oh. What do you think Cody's doing? I haven't seen him in months. Well, he's a big-time Hollywood actor now. He doesn't have time for us normal people anymore. What's up, you non-famous people? But Cody, you're back? Yeah, I just wanted to stop by and see how I used to live. You know, see my old childhood friends. But you, you, you remember us? Yeah, of course I remember you... Jonathan? Do you remember my name? Yeah, of course, I, I couldn't forget you, uh... Ricky? Ricky, yeah, you're Ricky. No, 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 my name is Joseph. Oh, maybe your middle name, but your name is Ricky. Yeah, my old childhood friends, Jonathan and Ricky. Oh, well, how's Hollywood been? Oh, it's been pretty good. I actually probably have to get going. We're shooting another movie tomorrow. What, what, what movie? Oh, uh, they're remaking Jaws. Here, I'll give you a little taste. <clears throat> what? There's a shark attack? Oh, I was just eating my ice cream and I heard people screaming. I guess that's what that was. Whoa, that's yeah. really cool. Yeah, you gotta see the movie for the rest. Oh, that's so awesome. Well, you know, I actually have a little bit more time. You guys wanna watch all the movies I've ever been in? Wait, wait, you, how many movies you been in? Oh, like 10. Come on, let's watch them. Okay. <laughs> what? We hit an iceberg? I was just eating my ice cream and I heard a big crash. I guess that's what that was. Oh, dude, that was so beautiful. I think I'm crying. You're so talented, Cody. Yeah, that was me in the Titanic remake. They wanted Leonardo DiCaprio, but he doesn't like ice cream. What other movies were you in? Well, uh, they rebooted Spider-Man for the fourth time, and they made me Spider-Man. You want to see it? Yeah! What? The Green Goblin was here. I was just eating my ice cream, and I heard someone say, You'll never catch me, Spider-Man. I guess that's what that was. That's so cool, you're Spider-Man! Yeah, who isn't these days, though? What other movies are you in? Well, uh, I'm in the Transformers remake, you wanna see that? Y yeah What? Optimus Prime was here. I was just eating my ice cream and I heard, Autobots, roll out. I guess that's what that was. Whoa, that's so cool, Are the robot's real? Nah, it's all green screen, CGI, you know? Famous actors like me know that. Any other movies you're in? Well, they're remaking all the old Star Wars movies, so I'm in those, wanna see them? Yeah! What? Count Dooku's dead? I was just eating my ice cream and I heard Chancellor Palpatine say, Do it. I guess that's what that was. Whoa! You were in a Star Wars movie! Did they give you a lightsaber? <laughs> no. It's a movie, Ricky. It's not real. Yeah, yeah, Ricky. It's not real. Oh, uh, so uh, what other movies you in? Well, I'm in the new Lion King remake. You want to see that? What, they're remaking Lion King? Oh, yeah. Check it out. What? Mufasa's dead? I was just eating my ice cream and I heard, Brother, help me. I guess that's what that was. Whoa! Oh, you were in Lion King? Yeah, I don't want to brag, but yeah, I was. Any other movies? Well, I was in the remake of Snakes on a Plane. What, really? Yeah, check it out. What? There's snakes on this plane. I was just eating my ice cream and I heard Samuel L. Jackson say, I'm sick and tired of these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane. I guess that's what that was. That's cool. Yeah, not my best work. I feel like I didn't really sell that there were snakes on that plane, you know? I should have been like, what? There's snakes on this plane? But instead, I was just like, what? There's snakes on this plane? You know, it doesn't really work. Yeah, it's okay. Is there any other movies? Look, guys, we could do this all day, but I'm a famous Hollywood actor now. I have meetings to go to and ice cream to hold. Oh, hold on, my phone's ringing. What's up, Steve? What, really? Another one? Today? Okay, fine. Wait, who's that? Pixar's making another Toy Story movie, and they want me to say, What? The toys have been alive this whole time. I was just eating my ice cream, and I heard somebody say, There's a snake in my boot. So I guess that's what that was. You know, so I gotta go. Aw, you really have to go? Yeah, but hey, before I go, I got you guys presents. Oh, really? Who is it, money? I got you guys Cody Cones. Wait, Cody Cones? Yeah, well, Cody Cones. What, yeah, you know, because that's what I'm famous for. Holding ice cream and saying my line. No ice cream? What, oh, okay. You give and you give and you give, and people still always want more. All right. Well, I mean, yeah, well, he did sign them, Joseph. That's that's really cool. Yeah, these are really valuable. Do you know how many strings I had to pull to get these for you? These aren't even on the market yet. Oh, well, sorry. Thank you, Cody. Yeah, yeah, that's right. All right, guys, I gotta go back to Hollywood and shoot some more movies. Oh, Cody, Cody, Cody. You know, since we're your friends, is there any way that we could, you know, possibly, you know, come with you and watch you perform? Please. <sighs> 
Uh, yes, okay, fine, I guess. But I'm shooting five movies today, okay? Just don't get in my way. Uh, okay, well, we'll be, we'll be quiet on set. Whoa, dude, this is a movie studio! This is so cool! Calm down, calm down. It's not that cool, okay? It's just a movie studio. I mean, I practically live here because of all the movies I'm in. So, like, is everything green screen now? Yeah, Junior, that's modern movies. Everything's all green screen. So, like, how do you know who you're talking to if it's green screen? I'm eating ice cream, Junior. It's not that hard. Ooh, ooh, ooh. can we get in the scene? Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, how about you just stand over there, okay? I really have to focus on my work. I really gotta be up right now, you know? Okay. Okay, don't make any noise! Alright! We're ready to film Toy Story. You ready, boy? Alright, alright, I'm ready. Let's do this. What? Aren't you forgetting something? Wait, no. I'm good. Let's, let's go. Boy, your ice cream! Oh, yeah, the ice cream. That's, that's my whole thing. Alright, sorry. Alright, alright, I got my ice cream and I'm ready. Let's do this thing. And action! What? The toys were alive this whole time. I was just eating my, uh... My, what is it? Oh, my ice cream! <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know how I forgot ice cream. It's right here in my hand. I'm sorry, let's do that again. Alright, this time from the top! And action! What? The toys were alive this whole time. I was just eating my ice cream, and I heard a... Uh... Wait, what did I hear? What, what did I... Oh, oh, the, uh, yeah, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, yeah. The toys! Yeah, yeah, I know, I know the toys, I'm sorry. Let's take it one more time, I, I'm sorry. And action! What? The toys were alive this whole time. I was just eating my ice, uh, ice, ice coffee. Damn it, boy, the ice cream! It's in your hand! What, yeah, 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 I know, I know, okay? It's, it's hot in here and the ice cream's melting, I'm all, I'm all mad. It, it's fine, it's fine, okay, I got it. We'll just, we'll just do it again. And action! What? Woody's been stolen, now he's gonna be sold to a private collection, and also there's a horse this time- Wait, what? No, 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 that was the sequel! What, what am I doing? I don't even- I don't wanna do this movie, okay? This is stupid. I- I don't even wanna do this. I, look, I'm gonna- I'm gonna go home, okay? Just forget this! He just doesn't have it anymore. <laughs> Cody, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just- I'm just burned out, you know? I do like 25 of these movies a day, and it's always the same line. You know, I hear something different, and something different happened, but it's always the same line. I'm tired of it. Well, it's kind of like you forgot your line, though. No, I know the line, okay? I'm a professional actor. I know the line. Well, then say the line. O okay, oh, she wants me to say the line. Okay, I'll say the line. I'll, I'll do the one from, from Jaws. Okay, how about that? Uh, w w what's that? There was a... A, a, a shark attack? Uh, whoa, I, I was just holding my... My, uh... Oh, oh, what was I holding? Your... your, your no, 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 don't tell me! I don't need help! I'm a professional actor, for God's sake! Well, I, I, was, I was holding a... It, it's, it's cold, and you eat it. Was it a, a popsicle? No. No, it wasn't a popsicle, it was a... Dude, he's lost it. I haven't lost it, okay? I, I'm on top of my game. I'm the best I've ever been. I just need to think of what I was holding. It was a... It's like a, like a push pop or a, a milkshake. Yeah, I, I was just holding my milkshake. No, it was ice cream. Wait, ice cream? Yeah, I, I, really? Well, of course it's ice cream. Obviously, it's always ice cream. What else would it be? You hold it. You have a cone. It's, okay, okay, yeah. I, I was holding my ice cream, and I heard it. I, I heard, what did I hear? Oh, God, I don't even know what movie I'm on anymore. Oh, God, I can't do this anymore, Junior. It's, o it's okay, Cody. <laughs> Junior, you know, when I started out this whole thing, I was so excited because I heard a car accident and I had ice cream and I was happy, but now I don't even care. You try holding ice cream for 24 hours a day. Your fingers get cold and they get all pruney. I don't even like strawberry ice cream anymore. It's gross. Look, look, Cody, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Some people just don't have it anymore. <laughs> wait, Junior. Wait, 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 your phone's ringing. What? My phone's ringing. Well, I was just holding my. Oh God! What have I become? It's, it's okay, Cody. Uh, you don't have to do it anymore. Just answer your phone and tell him you don't want to do it anymore. Okay. Yeah, he's really breaking down, dude. <laughs> Hello, famous actor Cody here. How can I help you? Hey there, kid. It's Steve. Oh, hey, Steve. Let me guess. You want me for another movie? Uh, no, actually. We talked it over with the studio, and we're gonna have to let you go. What? what? Let me go? But, but I'm the ice cream kid. Why? Well, your movies just aren't performing like they used to. It's almost like audiences don't really believe that you're a kid with an ice cream cone who heard something. It's starting to get stale. And I should know. I'm Steve Staleberger. Well, yeah, but uh, there's gotta be other stuff we can do, you know, like, like Godzilla. You know, how, how about this? Check this out. What? Godzilla's attacking Tokyo? Well, I was just eating my... My, uh, my froyo! See, kid, this is the exact kind of thing we're talking about. You just don't have it anymore. You're done! <laughs> what, what happened, Cody? I got fired.
weird. Well, is that what you wanted? You were tired of it. Yeah, but I was a famous Hollywood actor. Now I'm nobody. Well, uh, you want to go and get some ice cream with this twenty dollars I got? It's my treat. Yeah, you want to come, Cody? Yeah, I'm getting chocolate though. Well, maybe we'll hear a car accident. I'm very funny, Junior. Hey, Joseph, where'd you get that twenty dollars at? I need a favor. What do you need, Jeffy? Can I borrow a thousand dollars? A thousand dollars? What do you need a thousand dollars for, Jeffy? Cause I want to go to clown school. See, cook. Clown school? Why do you want to go to clown school? Cause it's always been my passion. I love making people laugh, and I really like Badoon. Jeffy, you don't have to go to clown school. You already are one. Marvin! It's true. We already act stupid and dumb. You don't have to pay someone a thousand dollars to teach you to act like that. You never support my dream. No son of mine's gonna be a clown. I hate you. Yeah, go to your room. Marvin, you should support your son. No, baby, I want him to be something successful like a doctor or a lawyer. You honestly think he's going to be a doctor or a lawyer? Uh, no. See? Well, look, baby, I, I don't want him to be a clown. He's going to get made fun of, and that's not a career. Marvin, I'm going to go talk to him. Well, I'm not paying for this. I don't support it. <laughs> I hate my daddy. <laughs> Jeffy, are you okay? No. Jeffy, it's gonna be all right. <laughs> no, it won't. Not unless you write me a check for a thousand dollars right now so I can go to clown school. Jeffy, why don't you just save up your money so you can go next year? Because I won't want to be a clown next year. Then why does it matter so much that you go this year? Because I want to be a clown right now. Jeffy, do you really want to be a clown? Are camel's nipples purple? <sighs> well, Jeffy, if you promise to be the best clown that you can be... I will give you the money to go to clown school. Heck yeah. Mommy, this is so pee pee. Okay, Jeffy, just don't tell your dad. Oh, I won't, Mommy. Daddy, 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 Mommy's giving me a thousand dollars to go to clown school. Jeffy! I'm just kidding, Mommy. <sighs> okay, here's the plan. What was that? Oh, nothing! No, nothing? Je Jeffy, you yelled my name. No, 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 I'm not going to clown school or anything. No, not at all. Oh, that's right, you're not going to clown school ever. Mm hmm. Yeah, so just stay in your room. Jeffy, here's the plan. Jeffy, Jeffy, focus. Focus! Okay, you're gonna sneak out the window and go to clown school, okay? All right, Mommy. I'm gonna be the best clown I can be. See you later, Mommy. Hello and welcome to clown school. My name is Screwball, and if you're wondering, yes, I hate my life. Being a clown isn't easy. It's long hours of kids pissing on you, you pissing on yourself, kids trying to punch you in the balls, Fat kids trying to eat your hair because they think it's cotton candy. Waking up in different motel rooms handcuffed to the headboard. I've seen it all. Like, if you think it, it's probably happened to me. But anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to go around the room and each one of you going to tell me why you chose this miserable path of life. You first, kid. Um, I want to be a clown because I like making people laugh. Trust me, kid. You're not going to be making anybody laugh. They're gonna be laughing at you, not with you. People only hire clowns nowadays just to beat them up and piss on them. At least that's what happens to me. But anyway, what about you, sir? Why do you want to ruin your life? Looks like you already got the hair color going. Oh, with me? Uh, oh, well, my daughter's birthday party's coming up, and I figured if I was a clown, then maybe her and her friends would think I was cool. You know, like I'd be the cool dad, like, oh, cool, your dad's a clown, but after hearing your stories, I'm starting to doubt that. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not gonna be cool unless getting beat up and pissed on is cool. Then you'll be the coolest dad in the world. But anyway, the first lesson of clown school is if you want to be a clown, you got to look like a clown. So there's clown costumes in each one of your desks. So go ahead and put those on. What the hell? What? Oh, God, it smells like piss. Yes, they all smell like piss. They're all from clowns who died from blunt force trauma to the head from a five-year-old with a boppet. Wow, this clown outfit's so cool. <laughs> God, why is it so itchy? Ugh. Yeah, because the clown that wore that outfit before you had scabies. Be honored. All right, the next step to being a clown is picking your clown name. My name's Screwball because when I was younger, I got in a horrible accident and they had to screw both my balls together. So I have one big ball. That's why I'm called Screwball and not Screw Balls. All right, so just yell out whatever clown name you want and I'll tell you if it's taken. Uh, what about, what about Butterball the Clown? Take it. What about Diarrhea Pants the Clown? Take it. That was my father. Uh, what about Noodles the Clown? Take it. Dingleberry the Clown? Take it. Uh, Poof Pants the Clown? Take it. Ball Pit Shit the Clown? Believe it or not, 
Taken. What? Really? Uh, okay. What about what about Fart Sucker the Clown? Taken. He was a good clown. What, oh, okay. Then what isn't taken? Uh. Tugball's not taken. Yeah, that fits you. You're now Tugball the Clown. What, I am not going by Tugball the Clown. Oh, yes, you are. Once you're assigned a name, you can't change it. I did not pay $1,000 to be called Tugball the Clown. No refunds. All right, kid, what do you want your clown name to be? What about Blue Balls the Clown? Mm, actually, that one's available. Congratulations, kid. Your Blue Balls the Clown. Yay, I got my clown name. I'm Blue Balls. What? He got Blue Balls? Why am I Tugball? All right. Now that you got your clown names, I'm going to teach you how to do the first trick you're going to need to know for a kid's birthday party, and that's balloon animals. They're going to want you to make dogs and giraffes and elephants. Mm -mm, it's too hard. What you're going to do is you're going to blow up the balloon, and then you're done. It's a snake balloon. See? Tss, snake. And if they say, oh, I don't want a snake balloon, then you hit them with this. Worm. See? So the only two animals that you need to know how to make are a snake and a worm. Any questions? Okay, but like, what if they want a dog? You say, snake or a worm. I'm paying you a thousand dollars. You can teach me how to make something other than a snake or a worm. Snake or worm. Okay. All right. So the next trick you're going to need to know for a kid's birthday party is how to juggle. So you're going to take three balls like this and start juggling. Watch me. Oh, 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 oh. See, I can't juggle. Well, that's all right. You don't need to know how to juggle. You don't get paid enough for that. They're just going to piss on you anyway. What? So you can't juggle? Are you going to teach us anything? Snake or worm. What? I, I, I gave you a thousand dollars. The next thing you're going to need to know for a birthday party is you got to get horny. <laughs> You gotta have your little clown horn walk around and do it in people's ears and give them tinnitus. Okay, what is this? Are we seriously not gonna learn anything? I spent it. What, what, what are you doing? Get, get, get this out of my face. What? Uh... Okay, that is it. Okay, that's it. I don't wanna be a clown anymore. Give me my money back. Don't be a party pooper. I can't give you a refund. I already spent the money. But come up here, I'll show you something cool. Okay, are you actually gonna teach me something? Sure. All right, so the next thing you're gonna to need to know for a kid's birthday party is getting pied in the face. What? Oh, oh God, why does the pie taste like piss? Because I pissed in it. Okay, that's it. I'm out of here. I don't want to be a clown anymore. I'm reporting you to the Bandit Business Bureau. Um, am I officially a clown yet? Before you become a certified clown, you have to pass the clown test. It's only one question, and the question is, what two animals can you make out of balloons? Uh, snake or worm? Congratulations, Blue Balls. You're now a certified clown. Go out there and get pissed on as much as you can. Thanks for the thousand bucks. Yay, I became a clown. This is the greatest day ever. My dream finally came true. Hmm, I haven't seen Jeffy all day. Oh, um, well, he's probably just in his room, but you don't need to check on him, though, because he might be in there doing teenage boy things. Hey, Danny. <laughs> Guess where I've been? Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Where did you get $1,000 to go to cloud school, Jeffy? Mommy? Jeffy, you weren't supposed to tell him. Well, I didn't want to get yelled at. You gave Jeffy $1,000 to go to cloud school? I'm sorry, Marvin, but it's his passion. Look at him. Mm -hmm. But Jeffy! I'm Blue Balls the Clown, Daddy! Blue Balls the Clown! Uh huh? Jeffy, you better show me what you learned at clown school for a thousand dollars. Oh, I learned a bunch of things, Daddy. I learned how to make balloon animals. Oh, well, you better show me the best balloon animals in the world. You better make me a huge elephant. Like, I'm talking a life size elephant. Mm mm. Too hard. Too hard? Nothing should be too hard for a thousand dollars! Snake or worm? Uh, snake. Alright. It better be the best snake I've ever seen. It's a snake, Daddy. Ooh, that's cool, Jeffy. It's not cool. It's dumb. Get out of here. It's so dumb. It's literally just, you just blew up a balloon. That took no talent. Jeffy, can I have a worm? Coming right up, Mommy. You could just ask me for one. Here's your worm, Mommy. Ooh, it reminds me of my ex-boyfriend. What? Get these balloons out of here, Jeffy. None of that took any talent. All you did was blow up the balloon and said it was a snake and a worm. Well, you want to see me juggle? I learned how to juggle. Ooh, that's cool, Marvin. I mean, I guess juggling is kind of cool. Show me you juggling, Jeffy. All right. I mean, at least juggling's a talent. All right, Daddy, watch me juggle. Oh, my. Too hard. What? Too hard? Just why is it too hard? Pee on me. What? Yeah, that's what they taught me in clown school. All right, Jeffy, that's it. You got ripped off for giving him $1,000 to do something that was a scam. But, Daddy, I got one more trick up my sleeve. Want to see it? Yeah, it better be the coolest trick in the world worth $1,000. All right. I can't believe this. All right, Daddy. See this pie? Yeah. 
Why does it taste like piss? Because I peed in it. Alright, Jeffy, that is it. You are grounded. You can't ground me. I got a birthday party to go to. See, Marvin, he already has a job. What, someone hired you for their birthday party? They sure did, Danny. So, I'm gonna go do that. I'll see you later. Go PJ! Go PJ! Go PJ! Go me, that's right. So how you ladies liking the party? This party's so awesome! Yeah, I hope it never ends. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know what they say. There ain't no party like a PJ party, because a PJ party don't stop. Woo! So over here, I got some Danimals and some Gogurt. I got some Spider-Man and SpongeBob Gogurt. You know, whatever gets the juices flowing. And over here, I have some powdered donuts, so you can just get into that whenever you're ready. Uh, PJ, can I please have your autograph? Sorry, babe. You're gonna have to wait till after the party. Okay. Okay, ladies. On the count of three, I want you to say what would make this party ten times better. And don't say more PJ. Okay, one, two, three. I'm more PJ! A oh, clown. That's right, a clown. I hired a clown. Oh, no, no, you didn't. I sure did. Get in here, Blue Balls. <laughs> I'm Blue Balls the Clown. <laughs> All right, make me laugh, funny man. Okay. PJ ain't laughing. That's not funny. Um, well, I can juggle. Okay, all right, yeah, let's see him juggle. But that'd be really cool if he could juggle. Yeah. All right. It's too hard. Want to pee on me? What? What? That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Oh, this is gross. Yeah. This party's lame. Bro, you're ruining my party. You better do a cool trick right now. Oh, uh, well, I can make a, a balloon animals. Uh, okay, balloon animals. I, yeah. I want a balloon animal. I want a pig. I want a balloon. Yeah, yeah I want a balloon animal too. Yeah, I, I, want, a, I want a bird. Um, snake or worm? What? Snake or worm? Uh, a snake, I guess. That's okay. mine. What? Shit, a snake. This party's so not cool. It's so not cool. What? Bro, bro, nobody has ever said a PJ party wasn't cool. You better do a cool trick right now. Well, I got one more trick up my sleeve. Okay, but it better be the coolest trick you've ever done. Yeah, it better be cool, PJ. I'm leaving. It's gonna be cool. <laughs> No ladies, come back! Uh, bro, you ruined my party! No lady has ever left a PJ party! I'm calling the party police! There, I just got done cleaning up the mess. I wish we made a mess that I had to clean up. Ew! Hey, I got you, kid. Oh, Jeffy, you got arrested? Yeah, I had to trespass him for ruining PJ Crenshaw's party. PJ Crenshaw? Jimmy Jam's Crenshaw! Here Jammy's Crenshaw, that's the one. What'd he do? Well, he did a bunch of lame tricks and it made PJ's girls leave. <gasps> Not his girls leave? Yeah, his girls. Oh. Well, so what's gonna happen to Jeffy? Well, I gotta revoke his clown card so he can't be a clown anymore. Wait, I can't be a clown anymore? No, you're permanently banned from being a clown. Wow, all that for nothing. Wait, wait why is your nose red? Oh, because I also went to clown school, but I dropped out because it was just way too much piss for my liking. And I kept the clown nose to remind myself I'm a clown for paying $1,000 for that. Well, she's a clown for paying $1,000 for Jeffy to go to clown school. What a waste of money. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go to my other job, leading Santa's sleigh. Oh, like Rudolph. Boiny, why was this wet microphone in the toilet? Now, Karen, that's not a microphone, it's a toilet brush. Speak into the mic, Boiny, they can't hear you. Now, Karen, get that out of my face, it smells like poop. Wait, you said it's a brush? Let me brush your hair! Get that away from me, it's wet from all the piss water. It's a toilet brush, you use it to clean toilets. Why wouldn't you just flush, Boiny? Well, you use it after you flush in case there's leftovers. Ew, what do I do with it now? I don't know, throw it away at this point. Oh, yeah, that's just great, that's great, Karen. You know, sometimes I think my life would be better without you. <gasps> you don't mean that, Boiny! Yes, I do. Look how fast I'm nodding. That's how much I mean it. Please What the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell was that? Was that a flash bang? Wait, wait, they just kidnapped my wife! Oh my god, what am I gonna do? Woo! Yeah! Shake those knockers! Let me motorboat! <laughs> oh, this is the best day ever! <laughs> Whew. Oh, oh man, hose. That was great. 
Well, I guess I should probably call the cops and report my wife kidnapped. I bet you called the cops. Yeah, guy, what's going on? Somebody kidnapped my wife. Your wife? Yeah, we were just sitting on the couch, minding our own business, and I was telling her how much happier I would be without her, and then all of a sudden, these two random guys broke in, and they threw a flashbang at us, and they kidnapped her. And then I went to the strip club to grieve. Well, why didn't you call us first? Well, you know, I had to go to the strip club, you know, to, to grieve. Wait a minute, guy, didn't you take out a huge life insurance policy on your wife just a few days ago? Go. Well, yeah, but that's because she got in her third car accident, and I figured, hey, if she's gonna die, I might as well make some money off of it. Well, you know, mate, that does sound suspicious. What? No, 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 you guys don't actually think I hired somebody to kill my wife just because I told her I would be happier without her, and I took out a big life insurance policy on her, and I went to the strip club to celebrate. I, I mean, grieve. All right, mate, put your hands behind your back. What? No, 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 come on, I didn't even do anything! Come well, on. let the judge decide that, guy. Oh, come on, this is so bogus. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Poober, and today we will be hearing the case of Brooklyn Guy, who is being accused of arranging the kidnapping of his own wife. But first, I'd like to thank our courtroom sponsor for today, Dragon City. Yes, that's right, today's trial is sponsored because our federal funding is quite limited. So everybody, please direct your attention to the TV on the wall so we can watch an ad by Dragon City. Hey there, Dragon Masters. I'm back with more tales from Dragon City. Just wait till I tell you what's new in the Dragon Realm. My Dragon Empire has grown massively. We're not just talking about a few dragons here and there. We're talking a full-blown dynasty. And the Dragon City roster is constantly adding unique creatures. It's like every time I log in, there's a new dragon waiting to join the Cody Kingdom. But being a Dragon Overlord isn't just about collecting. It's also about creation. The game's constantly evolving with even more magical habitats and buildings. And for the competitive players out there, the PvP battles are epic arenas built just for us. I been defending my title and climbing higher and higher on the leaderboard. If there was a Dragon Master crown, it'd be sitting right here in my little puppet head. And the game wouldn't be the same without their challenges that require some real mental power. There are realms within realms, each with mysteries that'll test the limits of your Dragon Squad. In the social clubs, trading dragons has become the new stock market. There are also alliances that feel like being part of an exclusive club where everyone's just as dragon obsessed as I am. And yes, I still sneak peeks at the other cities to make sure mine stays top tier. So if you haven't tried Dragon City yet, now's the time. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code to join. You'll get a special bundle with 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and the legendary Neo Izumi dragon to kick off your journey with a bang. Go build your own dragon empire now. Thank you, Dragon City. So, we can proceed with the case. So, did you kill your wife or what? No, Your Honor, I would never do anything bad to my wife. I mean, yeah, there are some days I wish it was legal for me to hit her, and there are some days I want to suffocate her with a pillow in her sleep. The sweet feeling of her gasping last breath as she dies would be the greatest feeling in the world. But every husband feels that way about their wife sometimes, right? Mmm, yes, I can agree. My wife can get on my nerves sometimes, too. But I'm a little confused, though. When you realized your wife had been kidnapped, you went to the strip club. Why didn't you call 911? Oh, well, I thought whoever kidnapped my wife would probably bring her back after five minutes because she's annoying as hell. Also, there was this stripper I've always wanted to pap, and I thought this would be my only chance to go to the strip club without my wife calling me asking me where I was. Well, it's just a little suspicious that you didn't call the police. It's almost like you were celebrating that your wife had been kidnapped. Oh, come on, Your Honor. I would never celebrate anything bad happening to my wife. You can ask anybody. They'll tell you I love her. Like, Sim Simmons, don't I love my wife? No. But don't, don't listen to Simmons. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Ask anybody else. All right, then. Let's ask your daughter. Penelope, would you say your father hates his wife? Would he ever cause harm to her? Oh, my dad hates her. He always says she's annoying, and he's always being mean to her. My dad likes to play Grand Theft Auto and run over women with a car, and he pretends it's his wife. He would definitely hire someone to kill her. I see. Oh, come on. Nuh uh Your Honor, I plead nuh uh Look, if you just give me a chance to clear my name, I promise I will do that. Hmm. Okay, I'll tell you what. I give you 12 hours to prove you are innocent. But if you can't prove you didn't do this, I will bang this gavel so hard and sentence you to the electric chair. Deal, Your Honor. Out of my way. Marvin, I want to get my nails done. Baby, we're puppets. We don't have nails. Oh man. Hey, guys. You just walk into our house without asking or ringing the doorbell? Yeah, it's really important. I'm in a lot of trouble. What's going on? Well, my wife got kidnapped. Oh, no! 
know. But your wife got kidnapped. Who would do that? I don't know, but the worst part is everybody thinks I did it, and now I have 12 hours to prove my innocence or I'm going to get the electric chair. W well, what evidence do they have that you did do it? Well, none, really, but I mean, hey, we need a problem, right? Okay, so who do you think would kidnap your wife? Who would want her? I don't know. I don't know who would want her. I don't even want her. I guess that's why I'm the prime suspect. I don't think anybody hates my wife more than I do. Hell, maybe I did do it and I just don't remember. Hmm. Did you do it? No, 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 I couldn't have done it. Well, is there anyone that hates you and is trying to frame you? Hates me? Me? I'm Brooklyn T guy. I carry these videos. Look at any top 10 list. I guarantee I'm number one. And if I'm number two, it's right after this bozo. I'm like, come on, look at him. I mean, I carry those videos. Uh, no, nobody hates me. Where am I on the list? Oh, you're not even top 10. You're not even top 20. You're right at the bottom, right under Mr. Pig and Corn Dog. Aww. Okay, let's stay on track. Who do you think would kidnap your wife? I don't know. I don't even know where you go to hire goons to kidnap wives. Oh, hold on, my phone's ringing. Maybe my wife... <laughs> okay, guys, what I was trying to say before I ran out like a babbling idiot and definitely didn't forget my line is hopefully they let my wife go and that's her calling me. But I can see from the caller ID it's not my wife. It's my ex-wife. Uh-oh, why would she be calling? That's so wacky. Hello? Ooh, hey there, Brooklyn guy. It's me, Deborah Dimpleass. Hey there, Deborah. Hey, look at me. She sounds like Mr. Meeseeks. We didn't have a lot of options for voices. Deborah, what do you want? I, I was just wondering if you picked up Penelope from school today. Yes, I did, Deborah. Oh, we thank you. And I... Oh, what a shame! Who would do that? Not me! Guys, I'm starting to think maybe Deborah kidnapped my wife. Oh, so I, I was wondering if maybe you wanted to get back together! There's the motive. Hey, Deborah, I think maybe you should come over so we can talk about this. Oh, is it gonna be food? Yeah, there's gonna be food. Oh, is it gonna be a lot of food? Yeah, a lot of food. Oh, we can do! Okay, just call me when you get here. Actually, you know what? You don't have to. I'll hear the dump truck pulling in. Okay, guys, my ex-wife's on the way. Wait, why is she coming here? Well, because I'm 99% sure she kidnapped my wife. So if we can just record her admitting it, I can show that to the judge and I won't get the electric chair. Hopefully he'll give her the electric whale tank because I don't think she's going to fit in a chair. Okay, so what can we use to like, motivate her to, to tell us? Oh, food. Well, well, what kind of food does she like? Oh, any food. It doesn't matter. Anything with calories and fat, a lot of fat, lard, mayonnaise, butter. I mean, you, she'll eat anything you put in front of her. She's like a goat. I saw her eat a can one time. Like a can of food? Yeah, like a can of SpaghettiOs. She couldn't open it, so she just ate the whole damn can. She just ate the whole can? Yeah, the whole thing. She has a stomach like a trash compactor. Okay, well, then we need to grab some food. Yeah, let's go get the food. Okay, Marvin, I got the food. Whoa, is this for all of us to share? Oh, no, this is just for Deborah. What, she can eat all this? Marvin, this is like a light snack for her. She's probably going to complain because there's not enough food. I got five triple whoppers with cheese and onion rings and bacon on them. And I got a bowl of ketchup to wash down her plate of french fries. And I got a chocolate shake, and she's probably going to complain because it's not filled all the way to the top. And just to be safe, I got two beefy five-layer burritos and two chalupas from Taco Bell. I just don't understand how she can eat all this. Oh yeah, she makes Joey Chestnut look like a chump. She's banned from all eating competitions all around the world because of her bottomless stomach. Well, do you think this food's gonna be good enough for her to admit that she kidnapped your wife? I hope so. Wait, Marvin, do you hear a dump truck backing up? I think she's here. Oh, Marvin. Marvin, look, the ketchup's jiggling. She's off the dump truck. She's heading this way. She's coming. What, what do we do? There's nothing you can do, Marvin. Okay, she's at the door. I'll answer it because she eats people when she gets startled. Hello? Hey, Brooklyn guy, it's me, Deborah. I know, Deborah. Hey, it's good to see you. Have you lost weight? No, I've gained 20 pounds, actually. Oh, well, you know, that's that's not surprising. Wait, is, is that a beverage from Taco Bell? Yeah, I got hungry on the way here, so I ordered a little snack. <sighs> Thank you for that. Yeah, I ordered 12 chalupas because I was so hungry. Oh, your normal order. Well, that's great because you knew you were coming to dinner. So it's great that you ate first. Come on in. Ooh-wee, I'm starving. Oh, yeah, those 12 chalupas didn't hold you over? Nuh-uh. Ooh, is all this food for me? 
Yeah, I got you a whole buffet, just the fattest junk. Oh, are those triple whoppers? With cheese. And bacon. And onion rings, just like you like them. See, Brooklyn guys, this is why we need to be together. You know my favorite whopper. Yeah, well, I think anybody could just look at you and guess it's the biggest one. I have a question. When did her voice start sounding like Mr. Meeseeks? Well, ever since she saw that one episode of Rick and Morty, she thought it was really funny and decided to sound like that for the rest of her life. It's me! Look at me! I'm Mr. Meeseeks! Look at me! To be fair, it is a very good impression, but to keep that up for the rest of her life is quite a commitment. If only she could commit to losing weight that much. Okay, well, we have to get her to admit to kidnapping your wife. I know, I have an idea. Hey, Deborah, I think we should play some truth or dare. Oh, are you gonna dare me to eat all this food? No, because you're gonna do that anyway. I was gonna ask you a truth. Oh, are you gonna ask me my weight? No. 600 pounds! Okay, well, that doesn't count. What I was gonna ask you is, did you have my wife kidnapped? No way! No! See, with the Mr. Meeseeks voice, I can't tell if she's being sarcastic or not. Like, was that serious? Oh, hold on, my phone's ringing. Who is calling me? Hello? Hey, Marty! What, Karen? Where are you? Are you safe? I'm back at home! At home? But where have you been? The kidnappers dropped me off, Boiny. They said I talk too much. Do you think I talk too much? I don't think I talk too much. I talk a little oh bit Oh my much. god! Shut up! Give me the phone! Damn! Hey, man. Listen. I'm sorry for flashbanging you. I, I, we were going to kidnap your wife and ask for ransom money, but holy shit, she's the most annoying thing I've ever seen in my life. So good luck. Me and my partner, we're going to turn ourselves in. Wow, yeah, she is pretty annoying, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Well, my wife is safe. Wait, so your ex-wife didn't kidnap your mm current wife? No, 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 no. She's fine. Wait, oh. But that means I just bought my fat ex-wife five triple whoppers and a whole bunch of junk food and made her think I want to get back with her. Ooh, is this the part where I take all my clothes off? Hey, Deborah, I heard Krispy Kreme is offering three dozen donuts to the fattest person. I win! Ooh, yeah. I've never seen her run that fast. The table's shaking! Yeah, yeah, it's gonna do that for a while. She's still running. She's about a 7 on the Richter scale, and a 600 on a regular scale. Anyway, I'm gonna go tell the judge my wife is home. You might want to get under a table or something. Well, 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 Brooklyn guy, you actually did it. You proved you were innocent. I guess you're free to go. Hip hip. Hooray! Woohoo! Yippee! Thank you again to Dragon City for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to click the link in the description for your special bundle of rewards. Oh man, I'm so sick. <laughs> Aw, Marvin, you sound terrible. Because I'm sick. Ring, 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 ring. Jeffy, what are you doing? Ring, 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 ring. Marvin, I think you should answer it. Ring, 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 ring. Jeffy, I don't have time for your games. I'm sick. Ring, 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 ring. <sighs> Hello. I'm at Disney World Monorail. Please stand clear of the door. Por favor, mantengan el lado de las puertas. What? <laughs> Jeffy, get out of here. I'm sick. <laughs> Marvin, do you want me to call a doctor? No, I'll get better. I just need some rest. Hey, Danny. What? Ah, Jeffy, why'd you throw a chicken nugget at me? Catch a chicken nugget in your mouth. What? No, no Jeffy, it's not throwing chicken nuggets at me. I'm not going to stop until you catch one in your mouth. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll try. Oh, my God. He's choking. I'll call a doctor. Ring, 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 ring. <laughs> oh, good, Jeffy, get out of here. This is going to kill me. Marvin, maybe I should call a real doctor on a real phone. Yeah, just go call a doctor. <laughs> hey there, somebody call a doctor? And his sexy assistant. What's he doing here? Well, my brother Jonathan applied for an internship at the hospital, so he's coming with me today to observe. Ooh, can my doctor name be Dr. Pepper? <laughs> get it? Dr. Pepper? Like this soda? Yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> Can you imagine uh -huh. Dr. Pepper pacing Dr. Pepper? Yeah, I, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, no, I get it. Anyway, so what seems to be the problem? Well, I can't stop coughing. Oh, look, chicken nuggets. Oh, these look good. Uh, do you have any sauce for these, like some honey mustard? Ooh, ooh, I like barbecue sauce. Oh, yeah. No, I don't have any sauce. I'm sick. Can you help me? Oh, yeah, you're right. I probably shouldn't eat these because you're sick. I don't want to get sick. Oh, although, I am already around you, so I'll probably get sick anyway. So I guess I could just take a little nibble. And these are cold. Can I just microwave these real quick? No, can you take care of me, please? Okay, fine. What's up? Yeah, uh, uh, looking guy. 
I am the doctor and intern. I will do the diagnosis. Okay. We gotta check his pulse first. Wait, that's not my pulse. Oh, he's bricked up. He is bricked up. No, I'm not. Good to know. Let me get the rest of your pulse. What? <gasps> I can't find his pulse. He's dying. Get down. We have to do surgery. Get off Hand me a scalpel. Surgery. Jonathan, I'm not cutting him open. What? He's gonna die. Oh, Help me die. Let go of me. Down. Jonathan, move. Jonathan, get back. Just let me do this. I don't want to lose my first paycheck. Yeah, okay, look. Tell him to go away. I, yeah, okay, it's it's fine. Look, I think you probably just have a cold, all right? Age. A, a cold. It's a cold. So just take a Tylenol and stop eating so many chicken nuggets. It's bad for your cholesterol. Okay. <laughs> all right, Jonathan, let's get back to the hospital. <laughs> Yo, booking guy, how did you go my first patient? It was fine, just try to be more professional next time. What, you didn't like my Dr. Pepper joke? <laughs> I forgot how funny that was! <laughs> it's, really, it's really not that funny. Uh, Dr. Guy, there's a patient waiting for you in room four. Okay, thanks, Denise. Hey, hey Denise, what if my name was Dr. Pepper? <laughs> It's really not, it's not that funny. Oh, Dr. Guy, you're just jealous because you didn't think of it first. He, he didn't think of it first either. The soda thought of it first. Oh, just, oh, Denise, Sorry. don't you have all the patients you should be getting to? All right, all right, I'm going. Jesus. Hey, Becky, did you hear the joke? Don't tell Becky. The new intern said, what if his name was Dr. Pippa? Really, Becky? Jonathan, oh, yeah, Jonathan, let's just go to room four. Come on. Doctor, doctor, this man just came in. He was hit by a semi-truck. He's not breathing. Oh, my God. We need to operate. G quick, get the tools. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you talking to me? Wait, yeah, Jonathan, get the tools. Say my real name, my doctor name. Jesus Christ. Dr. Pepper. Oh, Are you kidding me? <laughs> this man is dying. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Denise, Denise, Denise. You know what that one was? What? What are you doing? Denise Pepper. Oh, Hit the patient oh, while he's, he's, he's gonna die! Are you kidding me? You can't oh, laugh at a time like this! Well, I'm gonna get cool at a time like this, you know, because I'm a soda! What? This is hell! I am in hell! Dr. Pepper, huh? I don't know what's so funny. I'm not laughing. And then nothing, Sark. Then nothing. Nothing's funny. There's nothing funny about this situation. At all. Well, you want to know what I think's funny? You're getting sued for medical malpractice because you didn't resuscitate my client in a timely manner. Okay. Okay. okay so what, what, what's the damage? What are we looking at here? We're suing you for ten million dollars. Ten million dollars? I don't have ten million dollars. Well, you better have it by tomorrow morning, or else you're going to jail for medical malpractice and you're losing your medical license. But I don't have a medical license. I'm just an intern. Okay. Well, we just upped the lawsuit to 20 million because Dr. Pepper over here was practicing medicine without a medical license. Shut up, Jonathan. And I swear to God, if you laugh one more time, we're taking it to 30 million. Jonathan, you better not laugh. <laughs> don't, don't, don't you laugh. I dare you to laugh, Dr. Laugh. Pepper. <laughs> All right, 30 million it is. I'll see you in court. Come on, Jonathan, we'll leave it. Let's go, let's go. What are we going to do, Jonathan? I don't know. Jonathan, we're being sued for 30 million dollars because of your stupid Dr. Pepper joke. I will admit that joke is getting kind of old. It started old. Yo, oh, well, don't be a giant Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Jonathan, 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 Jonathan yeah. if we don't pay them 30 million dollars, we're going to jail. Yeah, I can't go to jail. The guys in there will take advantage of me. Well... Actually, I'd probably be a chop. Okay, Jonathan, these are problems I don't even want to have, okay? We need to come up with that money. How are we going to do it? Ooh, ooh, what if we got a limited edition, first edition, unopened Spider-Man comic? O okay, do you know where we would get that? Nobody would give us such a great excuse to go thrift shopping. Jonathan, we don't have time to go antiquing. Give me a different idea. Okay, okay, what if we contacted the creators of Fortnite and got them to make us playable characters? We could even get our own dance. <clears throat> Why the hell would they put us in the game? Nobody even knows who we are. You're right, they wouldn't ever make me a playable character. My wing is too big. They'll have to make it into a pickaxe. J Jonathan, these are bad ideas. I need realistic ideas. Ooh, ooh, what if we made a hit song? What, we can't sing. I can. Did you know that your brother is gifted? Yeah, I knew you were gifted, but not in singing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Oh. Jo Jonathan, nobody is going to pay $30 million to hear Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Well, fine. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe... Hmm. 
You could make a rap song. I'm not a rapper, Jonathan. Well, you could be. What, what would I even rap about? I don't exactly have hoes. You could rap about your life. Huh. I mean, I guess I do have a lot of jobs. I could add rapper to the list. Yeah, here you go. You go get him, champ. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go try to make a rap song. I should go help him. I got many jobs. I'm a cop, I'm a doctor, I'm a pilot, don't believe me, I can fly a helicopter. I got many jobs. I'm a firefighter, I'm a chef, I'm a lawyer, you're about to get served. I got many jobs. I'm a mailman, I'm a plumber, I unclogged your mother's pipes and I did not disappoint her. I got many jobs. I'm a teacher, I'm a dentist, I can fix any blemish, ain't no job that I can't finish. Someone call a burn specialist From all this fire that I'm spitting, it's burning my lips I'm a jack of all trade, I can give you some tips I'm an OBGYN, smell my fingertips <laughs> Yeah, my fingertips, P-U Smells just like fish sticks, hell yeah My fingertips, I'm an OBGYN, smell my fingertips Ooh can I get a whiff? No. Come on, Brooklyn guy, just give me a sniff. No, Jonathan, go jump off a cliff. Come on, Brooklyn guy, don't get in a tiff. No, Jonathan, get out of my song. I will once your wife gives me her song. Jonathan, leave. Bye, so long. Just give me one verse. What could go wrong? Okay. I'm Jonathan. But just call me daddy, I can pull up to the spot, just send me as your addy Don't bother me, if you are a fatty I'll only show up if you are a baddie I will be search, so they probably won't fit you Come to my basement, don't mind the tissues You can meet my mom, I got mommy issues Just don't pitch her off or else she will hit you Who wants to play? Some ever quest You should see my gaming setup, you'll be impressed You'll be so turned on, you might get undressed Cardiac arrest when I see a breast I don't want mom to see this Why? It was so good! You know, it felt really cool when we were recording it But now listening to it, I got really hung up on the part about people smelling my fingers Okay, what's your best point though? Yeah, smell my fingers Yeah, I don't think we should release this Oh, that's too late, I already released it Wait, you what?! Oh, hold on! Mom's calling! Oh. Hello? Hey, Jonathan, did my baby boys make a music video about smelling fingers? Yeah, you saw it? I sure did. I'm so proud of my baby boys. Thanks, Mom. That means so much to me. Bye. She's proud of us. I, I don't know why. What? Who is that? Oh, I bet it's our fans. <laughs> We don't have fans. Hello? Hey there. What? You said we had till tomorrow. Oh, calm down, calm down. Piss Pants here heard your song about smelling fingers, and he liked it so much that he decided not to sue you for the $30 million as long as you guys gave him the rights to the song. Deal. But, but Brooklyn guy, that's all his song. Shut up. No, it's not. He, he can have the song. It's his. All right, great. Come on, Piss Pants. Oof. Brooklyn guy, why would you give away our song? Hey, it's not even going to be a hit, Jonathan. Nobody even cares about it. Let's just go back to work. Okay. I can't believe you gave away our song. Jonathan, we're not being sued anymore. We have our lives back. That's more important. It was a masterpiece. It was not a masterpiece. Have you boys heard this new song? Doctor, I'm a guy, I think she's listening to our song. But no, 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 no way. Wait, well, how'd you even find that song? It's number one on the Billboard charts. It sold over a hundred million copies. I told you. Let's get back to the studio. I got many jobs. I'm a cop, I'm a doctor, I'm a pilot, don't believe me, I can fly a helicopter. I got many jobs. I'm a firefighter, I'm a chef, I'm a lawyer, you're about to get served.